What is good guys, so we are here uh, with a part for Road to Top 10, hopefully the last part, uh, if I can make it this time, last time I made 1950 and tilted. Okay, so we are 1900 on this account, we faced Veil that was used uh, the other day in OST, um, but I don't know exactly all the sets. But yeah, I think I'm just leave a Bulu here expecting the, I was gonna say Landris lead, so now he's probably gonna go Scissor right. Um, so what I could do is double into Toxapex. And pretty much click uh, Scald in case he knocks me off. I want to try to burn him. I got Toxic as well, but just in case he stays and tries to knock me. Um, I have a headache. I'm really tired, but um, what's it called? Yeah, I hope I just hope I can make top ten because I'm like number fifty in the ladder, number fifty-three. Um, I'm not that far away from top ten. So this is a probably Rocks Explosion Landris. Um, I can just one we one this with my Toxic Packs. Um, the burn obviously helped me, but also aggressive when was up. Yeah, you guys can. My team looks really weird. Um, I might explain my team later on. I just hope this is not all pummeling Lily. And then my Heatron should be able to beat it. Uh, so it's Calm Mind. Uh, fuck. I assume it's sh Shattered Psych. Oh, he just switches out. Nice. So we get the Keldeo Toxic. I think this Keldeo sub CM, if I recall correctly. I was gonna just go Toxic back here. Now uh, he's gonna get his veil up, I guess. He can just toxic on this. Okay, he puts me the bed first. That's completely fine. So we just toxic. Um. So um, I guess we just toxic spam in case he wants to go in the top of Lily. Yeah, I should have doubled in the heatron there. Um, probably should have doubled in the heatron. So use Coco, but yeah, protect on heatron is amazing to stay healthy. Uh, so that we get, so that we don't get run down by rocks. Hey, this is a feta team. It's like, it's like semi-stall type of team. Um, I know some of you guys are not gonna like this, but this team just has been working out really well. It only has a few weaknesses. Like, did the Electrium? Then I'm the go. That was too easy. I mean, to be fair, I had no reason not to go into Gastron. But yeah, um, the main threats to this team are Mega Larias with Command and Hoopa. Mega Heracross is also a big threat, but yeah, um, that's fine. I can just. Scald here because I don't want to let the scissor in for free. The Kelly is already toxic. I guess Lele could come out, so in that regard, I could have toxic, but yeah, he goes Kaldio. Um, not sure what this is gonna do. He's gonna try to sub or something. I can just go Bulu here, right? Um, don't see anything wrong with going Bulu. Okay, so I guess he's. Might try to burn me, so I'll just horn leech play it safe. If he goes scissor, I still get grassy terrain back. He tries to burn me. So yeah, his Kelly is gonna go down here. Um even if he burnt me, he might have gone down. Because this Bulu is choice banded. Um which is like the This is what I love about this team. I'm a big fan of choice banded Bulu. Because you can get um surprise Okos versus like superpower Okos, Kartana and Heatran, Stone Age Okos, Volcarona and Tornadus on the switch if you break correct. Um, especially uh, early game, if they don't know that you're banded, you can often catch them off guard. So I think I go into Toxapex because I know that this no uh, Scissor has knockoff. Uh, Zapdos might have been the better play to get rid of the rocks. I probably should have gone to Zapdos now that I think about it. But yeah, we'll click um, Toxic here. Put it in the top of Okay, fuck. Why would you not go to top of Lily? I don't get it. So he's playing this really weirdly. Um, I'll just scald as a mid ground. Yeah, I don't understand what he's doing. So I'll just recover now. Haze here. And uh, recover now. I don't know. Like, he should be going Lele, which is what he does now. And yeah, like I said, if this is Command Pummeling, this is still a threat, but I don't think it is, because he switched out on the Heatron earlier, so he's probably Psycheon. Um, I could, like, stay in on the U turn here, but I don't have a uh, reason to play aggressive. I should just win this by playing save. And he forfeits, so this should bring us um, pretty high. I am next this uh, 1921. So we are. Uh, this is a gold account, 87 points to be GXC, 63 to 17. So we are now um, 1920. Which is, where, put, where does this put us on the ladder? Um, it's pretty cool. This puts us at number 37. Okay, so I'm gonna get another one. I mean, it's like super hard to get a game. It like takes forever. I've been kind of watching other people that are laddering, but these guys are all like 1600s. 
I usually save their replays, so if I face them and I really have a hard matchup, I can at least scout their sets, um, which can be helpful. Yeah, I just hope we don't face Megaladias, Heracross, or Hooper. Um, those are the main threats, like I said. And yeah, I will get into why I have Gastro Plus packs later on if I'm... I guess I can get into it while we are searching. So the reason why I have both is uh, the packs is Fizz Death. I can deal with Zarex. It can... Um, I can switch this into Banta and take like half from Stone Edge and then pivot from there. If he crunches, I can eat it up if he doesn't defense drop me. Um, or if I'm low, I can go Budo. And if he edges, I can go into Gastron afterwards. So it's my pivot for Banta pretty much. Um, and that way, since it's not Spidev, oh I got Star Master, fuck. Since it's not Spidev, um, this guy's really good. He's a toe player. But yeah, I think I'll just leave a Bulu here. But since it's not Spidev, Pex, I needed another answer for Ash Green Ninja. So uh, Gastron was fitting really well, and Bulu, since Bulu is not AV, um, like I needed a Spidev Gast to check Ash Ninja, and regular Green Ninja with protein. Um, what else was I gonna say? Yeah, obviously I have to scout here for... Um, I have to scout for Gunk Shot or Ice Beam here. Um, he just Toxic Spikes. Okay, so we're gonna throw the Scald here. I think it was for regular Spikes. Um, okay, that's fine. He just sacks it. So he's a lead Greninja. He goes in the top of Coco, which is really weird. Is he Grass Knot? Um, he's, okay, so he's Taunt. Not quite sure. Oh, the I'll go into my pixie yeah, absorbing the T-Spike. So he's Reflect. Okay, so this is like a setup Zygarde then, with Sub Coil or Sub DD. Okay. Um, so this probably doesn't have an electric move. So he's gonna taunt me here. I'm just gonna spam Skull, get a burn, which is cool. Um, so Zygarde behind the screens. It's not the biggest deal because I have Ice Beam Fist, they have Mew, which is amazing because it's uh, mainly there to deal with Medicham, but it also like wants stuff like Mammoth which is otherwise a threat to like balanced teams. Um, it's not necessarily a common one, but it's somewhat. It has some usage on the ladder. Um, so he's eventually gonna U turn our heart out. Okay, so this Mew. Uh, it could be Mew and Yumzi, so I'll go. Thing is, if he weakens my Heatran, then he can potentially win with his Megana. Uh, if he's the correct set, if he's like Fairy or Megana, this can get really ugly. If he's Fairy or Megana, so uh, I, I should have tagged it there, man. If I tagged it there, um, I think the terrain would have not gone up, right? I would have been in a great position. So I pretty much have to rely on my Gastron to beat his Megana since my Heatran is gonna go down. I'm gonna plume here again, predicting the nasty plot. That was way too easy to read, my guy. <laughs> and yeah, so the Zygarde comes out, he's gonna sub most likely. Um, but I think I can just go top of Bulu and spam Horn Leech. Uh, I could also go Mew. Do I need Mew for anything? Yeah, I guess I can go Mew and just go Ice Beam. Uh, if I would go Bulu and spam Horn Leech, I think that would have also been a fine play. Um, so this is uh, probably Aya Papa Zygarde. So he's gonna taunt me to prevent the defog here. No, I should have defogged. Fuck. Um, he should taunt though. I mean, he's gonna taunt. I know that, but like, just in case he doesn't, I can try to defog. Um. So Megina is in, and it probably has the fairy or something. Oh, it's toxic. This is really bad. So we're gonna Earthquake here. I mean, if it's only Ice Beam, then it's good, but... I assume he's gonna go for Z-Move. I'm opening my water. Um, I think he's gonna go for Z-Move. No, he just Ice Beams. I mean, I don't need this for anything else. So if he doesn't freeze me here, I win. Great. I mean, I don't know if I win yet, but I'm in a really good position, I think. So I go Mew here, or... I think I go Bulu, actually, because he's DD. He's not even called. He's called. He's Double Dance. Um, but he doesn't have light screen, so I think I'm just Woodhammer, and he has a Figgy Bearer, but yeah, this Woodhammer does still does way too much damage, because, um, actually, I don't know if this was the correct play. I'm gonna die to t arrows because he has plus three, or he tries to sub. 
Um, but my Mew should be able to live ahead because. Damn. Hmm. My Mew my Zap does not sure. Um, I think. Yeah, I have to go Mew because I don't have a move on Zap just to hit this. So Mew should be able to eat this. Because I'm like near max defense. Dude, I'm having like a heart attack because I'm like. I was so close to top 10 in the last episode and I tilted, right? I wish I didn't record my tilt. Um, I know some of you guys wanted to see that. Um, so I just Ice Beam here and we win, great. So we beat Star Master, which is cool. I mean, to be fair, I think I overall had a good matchup. Okay, so we're 19. <laughs> 37 um, like I just love looking at this rank 87.5 GX like just for myself if I don't make top 10 I have to like save this in a record um, like I know this is like semi stall type of team and I don't have to like be proud of this but I kinda like I just love this team as a team that I met myself um, I, I guess I meant Seal was in call when I made it like when before Ultra Sun Moon even came out at first I had Coco over Zapdos but I was way too weak to Kartana so I put a Zapdos on there um, but this is why the team is like super slow. I know I'm gonna get some criticism from people saying that the team is way too slow. Um, I don't really care. I love this team. And yeah, we're number 22 on the ladder now. Um, which is I think the highest I've ever been actually. Yeah, probably. Maybe. No, I don't think I was ever higher. I mean, I was higher points wise in the last episode, but not rank wise. Because people decayed, so... Top 10 is uh, 1964. So that means we have to win like three more games to get top 10, maybe two games. Um, but this is actually not a good matchup because he has Mega Mole plus Misty Terrain, which means I can't burn it. Um, so I don't like this matchup at all. Um, like I know, it's like sometimes I like to look at my opponent's sets, but it kind of takes away the fun. But yeah, this guy is uh, around, he's 1896, so he's relatively high. You get a good lead matchup here. Um, I'm gonna super power here trying to snipe his Heatran, um, which would be amazing. I know he can make a different play into Landris or Mawile, I know he can do that, but uh, Mawile is still gonna take a lot. If he goes Lando, I find out information about his set, so that's cool with me. Um, unfortunately, he makes the, I guess, correct play. Um, maybe I should've just Horn Leech, but yeah, he's Rocky Helmet Landris. Let me just go with Zapdos here. Oh, also, my team doesn't have rocks. I know I'm also gonna get criticism for that, potentially, but I actually don't give a fuck. Because um, I tried rocks on Mew or on Heatran. Um, also, if this is Toxic um, or Bloom Doom, I mean Toxic doesn't work because the terrain is up. But if this is Bloom Doom, um, it beats my Gastron, and that's that's also another big threat to the team. Like I face Bloom Doom Heatran, and he tries Toxic me terrain, which is a huge misplay. But yeah, I can double into Tapu Bulu here, expecting the Fini to come out. He goes Garchomp, okay. But yeah, basically, um, Tren that has like. The like nature power that turns into energy ball and grace terrain. I faced that yesterday, and also train with like bloom doom or toxic that can beat gastro. But is a toxic to work down in the long run, or bloom doom it to kill it after they met me? That's actually really scary. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna scout for poison jab here. Um, looking at his team, this should be Z move SD, Garchomp or Scarf. Uh, I still think Muse over all my play. Yeah, yeah, Muse the play here, um, just to scout for for Poison Jab, and if he has these, I can still Wisp him. Well, if he has these, I would probably go back to Bulu Project in the Dragonium. But yeah, um, I know the Finny is really obvious here, but just in case he stays in, I'm gonna Ice Beam, he goes Heatran. Okay, so, um, thing is, we know he has Toxic. So if he has Toxic and Mountain Storm, I'm kind of in a rough spot, so... Um, I need Heatran for more, but I kind of want to go Heatran. Um, yeah, this is a really tough position. I assume Toxic is gonna come out, but just in case he mangles, I really wanna go Heatran, um, which um, I get the play wrong and he crits me, so this puts me in a really bad position, because I need Heatran for more, like I know that was a misplay, but if I go Gastro on a Toxic there, I'm kind of screwed, that's what I'm trying to say, um, if I go Pax also on a Magnus, then I also would've been screwed, uh, <laughs> and if, if he didn't crit me, I would've been fine, that was really, really unfortunate. But yeah, this is gonna be really hard to beat them all. The Misty Terrain combination, I have to somehow get... Um, I have to get rid of the Tapu Fini somehow. That's probably gonna come out here. Um, I obviously can't double, because I'm trapped in my Magma Storm. I'm forced to off-quick in my opinion, just in case he tries to toxic me. The main reason I need Gastro is for Coco and Tran. So he makes... 
he gets me there with protect. This set is actually really good that he has, super scary. Um, this is a set that destroys this team, yeah. So, um, I was trying to explain why I didn't, why I have double default, right? So it's important to not have hazards on your side with this team. Really important, actually. If you, like, I know Zapdos can sometimes be, like, sometimes Zapdos cannot default on specific, um, sometimes Zapdos cannot default on specific, like, mons that have rocks, like, if they have rocks, Hippo with Toxic, um, I guess, like, Toxic, Rocks mons like Chansey and Hippo are annoying because then then the defocus are gonna get toxic, but I can usually play around it. So I really want a superpower here predicting the incoming Heatran. Um also he might have Fire Fang. Um I'm just gonna horn it. Yeah, yes, Fire Fang. If he flinches me, okay good. Okay, Hong Leech kills him, that shows you how amazing Tapu Bulu is with a choice band, it hits so hard. But yeah, I still don't know if I can win this game. Cause yeah, my Heatran is super low and Mawile destroys me, cause I can't whisper with my Mew cause of his misty terrain. So like I said, I have to get rid of his terrain. And yeah, I probably should have... Um, I'm gonna make this bad play again. Like I don't care what anyone says. I'm gonna try to get my Heatran back healthy. <laughs> Like the safe play will obviously is going gastro on on Heatran, right? I really wanna catch him here and over predict. I guess I'll go Pex. It's like a mid ground type of thing. If he toxics this works out well. And if he off pass, um, uh, I really wanna um, pivot into Heatran here on the magma predict. Which I'm gonna go gastro on. I assume it's uh, magma. Yep. So um I'm gonna just off quick here and try to, in, just in case he tries to toxic me. Um, yeah, exactly. So hopefully we get the roll here. So we do get the roll, amazing. So now we have a chance to win this. Great. This is what I needed. Um, I mean, Coco just became a huge threat if it's Specs or a Z move. I guess Scarchamp was probably a Z move. Yeah, we don't know that. You have to go Mew here. And I can live a player off. Player of does like 56 to my Mew spread, something like that. And I can just soft build up. Uh, if he has these, I'm forced to whisp him the next turn. But yeah, he's probably gonna go top of Fini. I'm just gonna soft build to keep this healthy, right? But yeah, now I actually see myself potentially winning this game because, well, he could double into Coco here. But I just don't wanna go hard into my Bulu in case he has like Skull or something. So he gobbles in the mall. Uh, he played that really well. He played that really well. Props to him. Um, covered the Bulu and the packs. And I'm just gonna haze here pretty much. He has done the punch, fuck. Uh, so I can go to Heatran here. And that punch means he doesn't have knockoff at least, so he can't get rid of my leftovers. I probably should have. Okay, that works, that works. Um, thing is, I'm in range to die from Sucker Punch. So I'm gonna go hard on my Mew here, predicting a Sucker Punch. And now the terrain ends, which means I can Wisp him. Like, I know he can go into um, Finny here. But I'm not playing games. Like, I could have doubled into Bulu Damp and been in a great position. But I'm not playing around with a plus 2 Mega Mawa. Um, that one is way too big of a threat. But I mean, this time I'm just gonna go hard into a type of Bulu. Um, just to change up the terrain. I don't think he has Skull at this point. Well, I don't know that. But yeah, exactly. This time, I, this way I get some recovery. Um, I cover him going Coco or something. I guess he wasn't gonna go Coco. He was always going Mawa there. Yeah, yeah, he was always going Mawa. But yeah, this way... Um, I can go Mew pretty much and threaten him with a will o wisp um, which is cool. But yes, like you guys can see, it's like scary. Mawile plus Terrain is like a big threat to his team, which is just a cool combo that he has going on there. Um, so I'm going to bullet play again. Like if he has Skull and burns me, I'm kind of screwed. But if he makes this play, then I can just Horn Leech and he's probably going to go Mawile. But weakening the mobile is amazing. He goes Lando, so this is gonna do a lot, like 40-50% maybe? 50, yeah. So we get some juicy recovery on our top of Bulu. And we can just go into our Zapdos here. And yeah. He got... Like he predicted my recovery with the C-Train earlier, which is exactly why I off quit predicting him to toxic me. Um, that was an important turn to get correct. So this Coco is a huge problem. Gonna roost once. Uh, I assume it's a Z move Coco. 
But if it's like Electrum, he shouldn't go for it here because I have a Gastron. So how I'm gonna try to play around this is Bruce to scout his set. Um, and then next turn go Gastrodon. Okay, that's definitely not specs. So yeah, now we can go Gastron. Predicting like an Electrum or something if he has that. So it was Landris, it doesn't work out that well, but it's also not too bad. So I'm just go back to this. Yeah, I think Coco is the main threat. Coco and Mobile, obviously. Um, at least I was able to get rid of Trent. Yeah, option is Heal on Mew over Defog is an option. Because Heal Toxic off of Gastron after killing Trent would have been so good right now. And then, then Gastron would be just hot in this matchup. Uh, I'm gonna go hard Gastron here. Um, I kind of want to go into my Bulu actually. Okay, he goes for that. So he could have Taunt, which would be bad. He could also have the Dazzling Gleam, which would be bad. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to recover here. Yep, that works out. Oh yeah, also I almost forgot to change up the song because I'm just super nervous and I just <laughs> probably sound like a baby noob. <laughs> I like I don't care. I've never gotten top ten, and I would love I love to finish. I would love to finish this right now today. Um, and if it doesn't work, I'm just gonna upload this and have another part. So more parts for you guys to watch. But like I said, I don't really care if anyone criticizes my team. I think it's a really cool team. It can beat most stuff. Um, problem is the stall matchup because the bandit Bulu. Um, I guess you can put Megahorn and Bulu to potentially break through Tangrowth. But if it's max defense, they can still eat it up. You will take helmet damage. They can pivot and if they have like stall, they will know you're bandit, obviously. So it's like not the stall matchup is a pain because they can't break you. You can't break them usually. So you just switch around. Um, sometimes I just ask them to tie, and sometimes they agree. Sometimes um, they give up after s they can beat me, or sometimes if they don't have Tangrowth, I can just beat them with my Bulu. Because Jirachi takes like half from Woodhammer, so if I play it correct and stall Jirachi out of Wishes, I can win. Also, if I can stall them out of Heal Belts, because I can spam Skull with my Pex, my Gastro, have a plume with my Tran. I know I had Magma Storm at first on this Tran, which some people might think is better. Um, but I kind of like. Um, yeah, I have to wispy again. I know Finny is really obvious, but I just can't fuck around with it. If I double into <laughs> Bulu, I would have been in a hot position again, but I just can't risk that. So back to Bulu here, I just want to get the terrain. I don't think he has Scald, like I said. And he doubles into Mobile, which is a good play, but I don't mind. Uh, yeah, like I said earlier, the Mobile not having knockoff is amazing for me, because you cannot get rid of my Muse leftovers. Um, thing is, I'm kinda, he's kind of stalling up my softballs. Um, I could double into my my Bulu here, but it's way too important, like I said, to have the Mew at full. Yeah, so you guys can see this is repetitive. This is just how this team works. Uh, most of the times you're on the defensive and the team is just super slow. So if you guys really want, you can put this Chat on Zapdos. I prefer Thunderbolt because it has a chance to Oko Pinsir, a better chance. Uh, you can probably even put some special attack on Zapdos to guarantee Oko Pinsir. Uh, yeah, he keeps making this play, which at the moment, all um, that happening is my Bulu is getting healthier which uh, I'm completely fine with. Obviously I have to watch out because my Mew doesn't have infinite soft bolts, um, but also player of can miss, so I think this should be fine for me. Um, yeah, like I really want to double, I really want to double, but I just can't bring myself to doing it. Um, so yeah, you go back into Bulu here. He doesn't even have a good double, like he can go back to Mawa, yes, but I don't mind that too much. And if he goes Landris, I'm not sure if I'm faster. I'll Horn Leech here, because if I'm fast, then he can never get up rocks, I get some health back. I know I'm gonna take Helmet, but I'm still super healthy now. And yeah, you get rid of his Rocker. I mean, he was never getting rocks up when I had a Zapdos and a Mew with Defog. But yeah, still cool to get rid of that. So last threat more while. Uh, potential play. But nah, I don't wanna go hard Heatran, because then Sucker Punch is a problem. So yeah, we're just gonna keep making this play, and yeah, exactly. Eventually he's gonna stay and trying to catch me on a double. Um, so what I can do now is... Uh, he's gonna SD again, probably. I'm gonna go heat turn here. And now we're gonna run a Kalk real quick. Um, I assume he's adamant max attack. Obviously, that's how what I'm gonna have to Kalk, right? So heat turn. Also, I know I'm gonna get criticism for my heat turn not having speed investment. Uh, you should probably run like speed for uh, Banta. Oh yeah, Protect is to help with the Volcarona matchup. So if they have a Banta plus Volcarona, they can't pursue you that easily because you have Protect. And yeah, you can protect Toxic Stallmons like Lele also if they have like Focus Blast. Um, but yeah, Sucker Punch at plus two, the plus he's at plus four and he's burned right. So uh, status is somewhere down here. I forgot where it is. 
Let me not time out, I have enough time left, good. Um, I can't find it for some reason. I know it's here, okay, there. Burned. The sucker bunch does 53 to 62. And yeah, I think I have the lava plume here. Yeah, it's here, exactly. Now his mower is out of the way and we should win this game. I mean, Coco can still be a threat. Um, but I think I have this in the back. Great, amazing, he forfeits. So, this is going really well. We are 1954, which is pretty much where we have been last time in the last episode, somewhere around this. Um, I think if we win one more game, we are probably in top 10, depending on how high my opponent is. Um, so we're number 12 on the ladder. Whew. So we just have to get someone who gives us 10, 11 points. This GX is so hard. This is like one of my best GXEs I've ever had. I mean, when I used stall in Auras, I had better GXE. I mean, this is like semi stall. Uh, fat balance is what's how some people would call him. Um, which, yeah, this is just my thing here. It's oh yeah, also let me save these replays. Well, there, I have them recorded, so there's not really a point. Um, we might get someone again, like Star, who we just played earlier. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy that we could beat this guy. It was a tough matchup, but I figured he would eventually get impatient. It's taking forever to get a game. This means we might get someone with less points. Um, so... <clears throat> like earlier, okay, we get, oh, now we get Veil, so this is not necessarily an easy matchup. Um, I, oh yeah, I wanted to change the song, I completely forgot, because I'm trying to just win now. Okay, so this guy's high enough, if we win, we make top 10. Okay, so I think I'm gonna scout his VP real quick, one second, guys. Yeah, I can't really find his entire moveset, I could only find Telgo, Surf, Z, Renans, and the Mana Fee. Um, Hail on the Nine Tails. I think the, en the Zam has Energy Ball, which is like what I remember from facing Veil. Um, like there's a Veil going around that has Azu over this. But yeah, we um, just lead Tapu Bulu here. He leads Landris, we Horn Leech first. Because this is SD Explosion, right? That's what people usually use on Veil. Um, I know it's the Renan's Manaphy, so I know it's not Sky Strike. So I can go to this. And now on the Explosion, I can switch into something. Um, probably into Toxapex. Because I don't want to let my Heatran get low. Uh, because if my Heatran gets low, then Megiana and Zem become huge, huge threats. Because like usually Gastron would wall Alec Zem, right? But uh, this Zem runs Energy Ball, which is like an unset as fuck. So, do I need packs for anything? Um, I can. Hmm. I can probably set my packs. Because, um, well, I'll look at his team real quick. Like, my packs doesn't do much. If the Manaphy has Ice Beam, which I don't know because I couldn't find a replay with where it shows me the Manaphy set, I would have to keep searching here. So you guys can see he always has um, he always has Azu instead of... Like if his uh, Manaphy has Ice Beam instead of Psychic, then Pex was it, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't have that. So in case he overpredicts here, um, yeah, I'll just scroll. He's probably just gonna Psychic and take me out. See, he overpredicts the Shadow Balls. So now, now we can go Heat Train here. Uh, if I got a burn there, I would have been... Actually, no, I should have toxic him. If I toxic him there, I would have been in such a good position. But I thought he would maybe stay regular form. Yeah, I should have toxic there, and I would have been Gooch to go. But he's probably going to Psychic here. We can go Zammer. Uh, so this is like Shadow Ball, Energy Ball, Psychic, Focus Blast, um, which is an unsatisfied dish, the Energy Ball part. So don't spadef drop me, please. Thank you. So I'm going to have to call Shadow Ball the 22 to see if he's modest. God, I'm so shook, dude. If I just toxic him with Pax, I would have been in a fine position. I should have toxic him. Because even if he didn't Mega, then he does less damage to me. But yeah, my Heatran is... Uh, makes the death to take HP ground from Volt better. I know some speed should be, would be better. Um, probably. Focus best is... So I have to protect here. To make sure I can eat a hit. And hopefully we can hit this toxic on the Alakazam. That I would have already had if I didn't... If I clicked it with my... Pax, I, I should have clicked it, I would have been in such a good position. Uh, he could go Manaphy here, but he didn't toxic because Manaphy has Rain Dance. And that would put me in a rough spot. I'm um, already getting mad. If I just toxic with my Pax, because like, Pax was not needed at all. Please hit, please hit. If I miss this, I'm done. Good. So we protect here. If I miss that, I would have been done. Done though as fuck. So um, he might over predict here, and I can also try to get a double protect or a dodge, but he hits. That's bad. That's really bad. Um, so I think my play is going Mew and spamming soft balls. Um, 
Because I know that... Um, oh fuck, I need Mew Healthy for Zygote. This was probably not to play. <laughs> I need Mew Healthy for Zygote, good god. But the thing is, like, he probably has energy buff on my Gastron, just from... Like, I know that's what people usually use on Valent. Like, someone used this shit and gets, like, number one and then people steal it. Okay, he didn't. He said, what's the Megan? I said, I don't know. I have to rely on my Gastron to beat it, pretty much. If it's, like, Ferium, I'm in a really tough spot. I could protect... No, no, it's Z-move on the... On my feet. So this is either Sugar or a Guaf, or whatever the berry is called, a Papa, a Guaf, one of these. Damn, I'm so... Oh, if I just toxic him with the packs, I would've been so good, in such a good position. <laughs> Cause, like, I definitely didn't, I didn't need my packs. So he was Sugar Berry. If he's just Bolt Beam, this is completely fine, but if he's Flurcan, oh, he's Flurcan. Then I should've put... Oh, I should've switched out on the Flurcan. Um... So I think that just was a misplay on my part for sure. Damn it, that's so bad. I had it pretty much the top ten if I just if I win this game. Um <sighs> So Magina versus Gastron. I was just gonna calc. How much spedef does my Gastro have? It's like not as spedef as the standard set. Damn it. 279. Uh why does this that not change in the calc? What is changing? Okay, so Flurkin um, was a roll to kill if he's timid. So I'm thinking this might be modest. So if it's modest, I can go into my Bulu and kill it. Um, I think that's pretty much what I have to bank on, that I'm faster with my Bulu. If I'm not faster with my Bulu, I think I just lose. Um, Because Mew dies to Flurkin, right? Even if it doesn't die, he can just comment on me. So I'm faster and it doesn't kill well. Should've Woodhammered then. We, 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 we dodge, so we get a second chance there. He, I know we can switch out now. So we get bailed out there, that was really um, unfortunate for him. You can see that there's a fuck million. Um, this is bad. Hmm. And he's gonna veil here, but next thing it doesn't get me much. I need to defog, um, okay, great, this puts me in a good spot, I think. Well, I should not have let him call mind. okay, just pain split it. So I think, um, fuck, he's just gonna set up, how much does Woodhammer do? Damn, dude, <laughs> I already lucked and I should, I could have, would have already lost if I didn't luck, but how much does, uh, Bandit, Bruce, Woodhammer does a lot. 71 to 83. So I go hard Bulu here. And Woodhammer. And hopefully get the roll. Um, yeah. Basically, what I should have done is, like I said earlier, I should not have gone hard. We get the roll. Whole crit, even. I'm sorry, dude. Um, basically, what I should have done is just set my packs as I planned. Well, I guess having it now is cool. But just toxicing in case he overplays with them because I didn't need packs necessarily, right? And um, I'm gonna just uh, oh, probably defog. I know softball because I need this healthy, right? So Manaphy. So if this Manaphy has Ice Beam, I'll probably lose to it. So it comes down to this Manaphy having Ice Beam. Also, let me count this. Oh yeah, yeah, he can kill me. He can kill me with his Z move here. Um, like man, if he had plus three, his Z move can kill me. I'm pretty sure easily. Cause I'm choice when they even serve this uh, 55 to 65. So Z move would kill me. He has veil up. Where do I put this? Veil, 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 veil. veil. Where is veil? Um, I know I should have lost this game already, but I lucked. So I still have a slight chance if he's not ice beam. If I switch out on the Z. Um, Sex Zaptus on the Z. Sex Zaptus on the Z. We oh, didn't Z Psychic. Fuck, now I lose because he can tell Glow again. Yeah, Psychic would have killed me, so. Psychic would have been a roll, so I should have just gone for the roll then. But I thought he would Z move. Um, I thought he would Z surf there. 
Because these serves should guaranteed kill me. But yeah, now I just lose, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, I just lose. Now my last hope is getting a T-Bull Per or something. Because he can tell though again. But is this the problem with the team being this slow, obviously? Um, if I still had my Gastro around... I'm trying to think how I could have played around the Magina. Uh, if I knew the set, I could have played around better and switched into Tex on the floor again. Oh, he didn't! Well, Zemo still kills me, I don't know. Yeah, like, I lose. Because if I go Pex, he tells those again, right? So I would have to get a first turn rig and then... Yeah, that doesn't gain me anywhere. So I go Mew, he can rain dance. And so basically I have to hope that um, that he doesn't click the Z for some reason. But he should just click the Z and kill me. Yeah, exactly. That's what I thought he would do the last turn, but he didn't do it for some reason. So yeah, we lose this game. Um, completely um, deserved loss. I didn't play that optimally. So now I just have to be careful that I don't tilt. Um, that probably cost me like 15 points or something. Um, God. I could have played that better for sure. Um, so we're 1930 now. So we have to win two or three games again. <laughs> Man, that was so close again. I didn't make it. Um, where's the veil get that we just faced, by the way? My friend Rojo's number 34. Damn, I was number 12, man. So close and yet so far, as I, as I like to say. Um, oh, the Velga is 58. Okay. I hate it when it takes forever to get a game. I pause it and change the music. Never mind, we got a game. Oh, fuck. So, um, I know this guy. He's actually a decent player. Uh, well, he has arm T that he peaked one with, which I'm not a big fan of the arm T. But he has like some cool sets at least. So he's 1883. Um, basically, this guy likes to use Z Dig Greninja, so I have to be really careful that I don't go packs on the Z Dig. Well, I can actually level Z Dig because oh, he poisons me. Damn. That sucks, dude. Like. <laughs> I didn't want to recover there in case he like taunts me or something. I don't know. Like I don't know what I was, f why I didn't recover. I should have. But the poison on the gas tune is super bad, like super bad. Um. Yeah, basically I want to scout for the toxic here and go into my thing. Uh, so if this is Bloomdom, he can just kill my gas too. At least he cannot hard full toxic me. But yeah, this is not looking too too hard. He can just go call Fable here or Glisco actually. So what I'm gonna do is go top of blue here, breaking the glitch score. And I'm gonna click Woodhammer. I'm gonna click Sewer Power because it kills the Heatran. But Woodhammer always the toxic pack, so he knocks off my Baron. He actually gets me there. I hope this kills. Um, it doesn't. Okay, we can hold each here. I don't think he should go hard on the Heatran because I could super power the Heatran. Uh, yeah, that's not a good play in my opinion. Like, this is in my opinion just a bad play. Um, it was really obvious, but I didn't predict it. Now I'm getting salty because I'm getting predicted. Yeah, I don't think I can win this game. <laughs> so, um, I might have just stop have to stop because... I might have to stop. If he has taunt here, I'm done. But I don't want... Like, I scored that predicting a taunt the last turn. I didn't think he would... Actually, Mamma was a fine play on him, yeah. Yeah, I don't think I can win this. Uh, Gastro. Being poison sucks. Like, at least it's not a toxic poison, but it's still a poison. A toxic. Like, it's still a... Me getting chipped down a lot. Um. Well, this probably has spikes because he most likely he might not have default on the score. So I guess I'm gonna go Mew here. You took. Well, this is unset. What the fuck? So I should have just recovered. Um. Yeah, I predicted the spike there, but I guess people like to run weird sets. Yeah, I don't think I can win this anyways. Like, if he goes for Z ground now, congratulations. I just don't want to play this game anymore. I'm super salty. <sighs> like, I know this team can easily do it. Um, I could have probably won the last game if I played better, but I, I actually don't know. The Banavi is too big of a threat with um, Budu not being AV. 
uh, and Gastro being dead, like I need Gastro alive for man. If you didn't think about that, so I should have like tried to beat the Megina differently. The problem was that yeah, yeah I should not have sent my Tran because I need Tran for Megina in that other game. But like I need Tran to go low to Toxic the Zen, but I should have already Toxic the Zen with the pack. So like I said, that was my misplay. I already said talked about that earlier. Um, not sure what he's gonna do. If he has energy, but I'm clicking eggs. Psychics. Well, there's a lot, obviously, with the with the poison. It's like this is just a shitty position to be in. <laughs> like I don't know what to do, honestly, because he's eventually gonna get a spadef drop. Like I'm not recovering anything because of the to the poison, like the not toxic, but like the other poison from gang shot. Um. Yeah, this is just a, a game that I don't want to play. If I'm, if I'm being honest here, um, I guess I protect to guarantee live a focus blast. But he could just go Glisco here or whatever. He risks it, which is a really bad play on his part. He should not have done that. Now he's probably gonna go Glisco here, but I don't lose anything from protecting. Well, actually, maybe I should have gone a Bulu there because I forgot that his Glisco was weak and now he's getting all the health back. So huh, that was kind of eh on my part. Now we go this. Horn leech, like he should. Uh, that's super power. Like I don't know, this guy likes to go heat first. Yeah, okay, he makes the unplay there. I get punished for my misplay. <laughs> I shouldn't just horn leech, but like. Glitz score is too big of like heat is too big of a threat. That's why it's super power because I cannot let it in for free. Um, I don't necessarily agree with how this guy is playing it. I obviously get lucky with dodging folks best, but he toxic my gas show. So like, um, so now I'm gonna just play bad and like risk my heatran for no reason, <laughs> just because, um, <laughs> just because um, I figured he's gonna map everything my gas show. Down. So now, um, I really want to catch him here, but uh, like if I'd catch him on a taunt and outbreak, I would have been Gucci, but I can't make that play. Like, I don't know, if you see dig and he clicks it on my packs, I'm done, but if he clicks spikes, I'm also in a really bad position. Yeah, now he clicks spikes. So I click, I scout for Z dig here by going Zapdos, um, but I guess he doesn't have it. So now I'm going to let my Zapdos take a huge hit, which you can say is a bad play, but I just can't play with all these hazards on my side, I just can't. Um, so we go Gastro, and as long as there's no Spadef drop, um, we should be good to go. Now either Clefable or Pax is gonna come out, so we can go with Tapu Bulu here. He goes Glisco, just gonna Horn Leech now, tied off. Ah, that's super power, that's super power. Because killing the Heatron, ah, killing the Heatron would be so good. Um, it would be so good killing the Heatran. But yeah, I think I can win this now because. Oh, he gets a burn, that's fine. I can win this now because I dodged the Focus Blast with my thing and my turn is still healthy. I dodged the Focus Blast better than right if I recall correct. But yeah, you got the Toxic on my thingy. So it's like Hex for Hex. You get the Toxic on my. The Poison on my Gastro, god god. If I lose this game, um. I'm in a really like rough position to make top 10 because I'm trying to drop a lot to like around 1910. Uh, it's just not going to be fun. Yeah, he could stay in there. Oh yeah, he turned his rocker. For some reason I thought Clef was his rocker. Um, yeah, I can just stay in here because I want to get some health on my Gastrion. Um, oh, I forgot. About oh no, he gets a special attack boost now. I forgot about that. Oh, this is really, really bad. So my play that was always clicking off quick. <laughs> I did not use my brain there. Like, I'm just way too hyped. Um, like, too, I don't know. I don't know how to say it. I'm not hyped, actually. I just, I'm just misplaying. <laughs> Basically, I thought I already had the top 10 in my hand. Because usually I beat Vale with this team. But this, this specific man, if you Vale. Uh, okay, this is bad. So, okay, that's come. Really fun though. Well, he's getting health on his heat train back. He's like playing this well, and I'm not thinking enough. Like, I'm kind of just clicking, uh, throwing my months out the window. <laughs> like, I'm losing recovers on my gas turn, which is really, really bad. 
But if you don't see a good play on him, actually he could you turn. Um, I guess... I don't know his last move, it could be the dig. But I can't scald, because like, I already gave his Zem a special attack boost once he crits me there, which sucks. <sighs> this is just so bad. I can't win this game, yeah. I thought I could, but I don't think I can. He could just spike and put me in a shit spot here, but he doesn't. Um, I still have to scout for Z-Dig though, and I can't because like all my shit is way too low. So like, if he's Z-Dig, he's Z-Dig and he kills me here, like I can't do anything about it. Okay, good. Um, yeah, I, like he can just focus blast here. He doesn't need to, but he can focus blast. But like, I don't see another play besides going heat trend. Um, yeah, like... Oh, he has recover. Really cool, really cool. Yeah, I like I love this set a lot. My friend Eclipse uh, also uses it. I have a team with it as well. Um, yeah, not sure what to do. I probably just lose this game. <laughs> I'm sorry if this is like not fun to watch anymore. Like I was cool at the beginning, but now oh, I'm just getting tilted. Oh what? Why would you go to Heatran? Good God, he got me there. He's outplaying me like a lot. I thought the Glisco was always the play, just in case I off power. The Gemma gas room is too low, so I might have to try to make an aggressive play here. But yeah, you can just flash fire boosted Magma Storm, fuck me up. Um, probably should have. Yeah, like now I just have to dodge. Like I can't do anything. Um, I should probably protect, I guess. No, it, I don't even gain health back. I thought I gain health back. Damn, toxic does way too much. I thought. Uh, yeah, so we just lose, he crits me, which uh, probably didn't matter. Um, so yeah, you guys could see we were almost top 10, and now um, everything is going down. I will have to go for a dodge with my Zapdos. <laughs> yeah, which is what I'm gonna do, but yeah, I can't win this. Uh, GG well played. Toxic, yeah, I like this guy has a really cool team. Just gonna defog on the rocks here. Um, and I guess I hope for a prey for a dodge or something. He doesn't even have to, he can just switch into packs. But I have to like hope for like some, a dodge into killing him, right? <laughs> so he sacks it, well I actually don't kill him because I'm not banded anymore. So now he can just go toxic packs, so I go Heatran. So he madness now. Um, yeah, back to Buddha and Dodger <laughs> thing. My Magma Storm is like my only play, and yeah, GG well played. So, yeah, <laughs> it's okay, let me pause it and change the music. Okay, this veil again. Uh, let me just put some new more music. Okay, so this time he has a Gengar instead of Mana, which is better for me. Like it could be Trick, it could be Z move. It's probably Z move, right? Um, I kind of want to predict him to SD this time. This last time I went Pex, right? So you could easily SD here. Um, your off quakes. Just go Heatran. I know I need Heatran, but like. The explosion is gonna come out there, and I leave that the terrain plus uh, leftovers. You get some health back. Um, it could be calm mind. Nah, but we already saw his set. He's like focus blast, all that stuff. Focus blast the roll to kill me right um, in his favor. Yeah, this is why I didn't want to let he try and take damage. But what else was I gonna do? Go to an explosion. Let my Mew get weakened and lose to Zyga. Um, Alexam versus Heatran. Yeah, like I can see that this team has flaws, like it's too slow and like the main threats that I mentioned were Hoopa, Megalady. Focus Best doesn't kill cool. But Megalady are the main threats, right? That I mentioned. But there's definitely other mons like um There's other mons that can be a problematic because the team is just too slow. So like, man, if you can overpower uh, the team with the gastrodon, is like 
weakened. So a Shadow Ball doing 35 to Gastrodon, how much would Ghost even do? Uh, Gastrodon... I don't know, I still don't have my specific custom spread. Like, I imported it once, but for some reason it didn't, like, get imported. Okay, so 279, Shadow Ball, that's that much. So how much would Ghost Eum do? Ghost Eum does that much. Okay, so we can recover here. Uh, I know this has freeze dry, obviously. Um, but I think going Mew and defogging is my play, because... Like, I know he can hypnosis me, I didn't think about it for a second, but I'm lucky and bad. <laughs> So, what do I put the bad Heatran? Well, Heatran could be good, I guess. Oh, this, oh I'm sorry, dude. Like, the, <laughs> this poor guy, man. Holy shit. Holy shit. Damn. Damn, I really, um... The Hex Gods have really been listening to me that I wanna... <laughs> that I wanna make top 10. They really let me dodge every move. I mean, I don't think it matters if my Heatran is asleep, but getting rid of the Veil is obviously amazing for me. Good god, that was unfortunate for him. So we can Earthquake here. Or we could go for Ghostium and do like 60. Uh, I get the crit. Oh, of course on the crit that I attack. On the turn that I attack him, of course he gets the crit, but I can't say anything. I locked him to shit. Um... Psychic coming out, right? Shadow Ball. Um, so Zygarde could come out here. Um, can I want to go Bulu? Because hmm. he's not going to Shadow Ball or go Zygarde. Um, focus, oh, Focus Blast. That is a lot. Good God. Rope Zammer. <laughs> so I can go back to Heatran here. And he predicts me there. Well, good play, my guy. Um, so Mew, we go soft ball, we click. Shadow Ball can't beat me because I have left these plus terrain up. Uh, he's obviously gonna switch soon. Um, yeah, like. Problem is that my guess, oh, Heart Floor can. I was gonna um, go Pex there, but I cancelled. Actually, I didn't even click packs, but in, in my head, I was thinking. Well, how much does... Oh, good God. Like, the thing is, does he even have a move to hit Toxapex? Fuck, now he can go like a Zam. This is so bad. Oh, I misplayed this as shit. I should have gone into my packs there. I don't know why I didn't. Well, if he goes packs, If I go packs, he can also go to this. Never mind, never mind. Um, yeah. Like, I don't know, I don't know, I guess. Like, Alakazam is just a big threat. I'm not playing Optimus. What was I misplay? Oh yeah, he predicted my Heatran. Well, that wasn't necessarily misplay. Because if Pex vaults the Megina, then it's really important to keep the Pex. Um, but yeah, that surprisingly doesn't even do that much Psychic. So that's cool. Surprised he sacked it. I thought he would go uh, into his Zygarde, which is what he does now. So um, you have to go Mew, right? Since I sacked my Bulu for, which was a misplay. Well, his Beam here. Well, I don't know if he's yeah, yeah he's sub. So I'm not. I want to Wispy, right? Because um, I know he's gonna do that. Please don't miss. Good, 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 good. So. Now we just have to not lose to the Megiana. Like if the Megiana is CM T both floor campaigns, which I think it is, I think it has T will yeah. I can still lose to the Megiana. Um hmm. Like I'm trying to think how I can fix some of the problems with the team. Like I need some sort of speed control probably. Um So he's probably gonna DD again here. Like he could just spam arrows, it doesn't matter, he's not gonna do any damage to me. Heart Megiana. Huh. Well, if he has... He has t yeah. So he's gonna... Either CM or t again. Yeah, I don't think I can win this. <laughs> Should've wished him, but I had the chance to. 
We giga We forfeited. Ooh, it's lit. Okay, so back at 1929. Um, let me pause it real quick. So we're back at number 28 on the ladder. Um, we get this guy. <laughs> I remember this guy. <laughs> um, so my friends, uh, like Colin and PTP, played this guy a few times. Oh, he's a slow Tapu Lele with like no speed, so I can just woodhammer here and fuck someone up. And Prince just dies. I mean, the crit mattered, but like, he, this is why Bandit Blue is amazing. People think they can switch stuff in and it just dies. Um, that like I can show you guys a color real quick. They would have done a lot. Uh, top blue custom set. No, no, not like that would have done like 80% or like something. Like, I mean, if he's edge blue, uh, edge pencil, it could have been a threat to my team. Uh, pencil, he wasn't mega yet, right? Like, I don't even know what to put in. So, what am I would have done 88 to 104? That's crazy. Um, okay, so. Like I said, Megahorn is an option on this because it kind of checks Megalari, but if they have a uh, reflect type that doesn't even help you. Or if they have CM'd up already, then they beat you anyway. So I think Mew slash... Oh, Mew is, Mew is important because... Oh, yes, Tox. Mew is important because... Um, I need it for the Excadrill, right? So this is like a rough thing that my Zapdos is getting toxic. But yeah, I expertly predicted him to... Um, Actually, he can just spam off quick. Damn, this guy got outplayed. It. This guy got outplayed as fuck. But the thing is, my Zapdos is going down. But since yeah, since his pincer was down, I guess I didn't need it anymore. And the problem I have is uh, something else is taking a hit here. But I think it's Pex, right? Because Pex can eat up off quick. Well, if he's off, but maybe it can't. Hard Lilith. Wow. This guy's like slow. He's probably like modest specs or some shit. Um, this is bad. Good play on him. Yeah, he's slower, okay, wow, nice, so he doesn't get rocks up. So I guess he could have rocks in this. Yeah, so I don't know why the fuck he's Lele is slower than my Bulu. Like, I'm adding Bulu, he's like, no speed Lele. <laughs> What's Lele's base speed? Uh, why did he go to this? Don't I kill this? Yeah, Bulu is slower, but for some reason he's still uh, slower. So he's like max HP modest or some shit. Um, which means you can probably live a hit. Uh, Holy to just a lot, so yeah, we're just gonna go for it. And yeah, he lives because he's max HP. And he over predicts! <laughs> this is too funny. Like, I don't think I needed Bulu to win necessarily, so we take those. I mean, he was predicting my heat which I can understand. He was in the back, so he made a play. tried to make a play. Um, yeah, we can go Gastro. Um, and yeah, could protect, which I have just for people that try to flinch Gastro. Well, I guess I recover first. If he flinches me, I can protect next turn, right? Like, basically, what I have on this Gastro was Curse at first. For a long time, I had Curse, uh, which actually was clutch some games. Because you don't really need Toxic. I also try Toxic, but you don't really need it because I have Toxic on this and this already. When Protect just cool to get extra, to scout versus choice scarf uses, to ch um, like versus Petrin, I guess you can scout for Bloom Doom after they magma you, but not really. Because I think it will still do a good amount to protect. So I don't know if that helps with Petrin, maybe. I mean, Bloom Doom is not that con, but it's, it's actually not bad at the moment because of Gastron. Gastron is on the rise, which is kind of. The, the problem I have with this is. Like on the ladder, people just use energy ball and stuff like that. This gem in general, you could see Ali has a big problem. Uh, in that one game, it was a problem because my gas got poisoned. But yeah, what was I trying to say? I'm like losing my thought process thing, train of thought. <laughs> yeah, basically protect health versus choice users and just to get leftovers. Um, versus Coco, they have U turns, you want to get extra leftovers because if they keep spamming U turn, you get chipped down. And yeah, it's just like a move. You don't really need another move slot. Like you can probably come up with something else that would be useful in that slot. Yeah. 
So if we win this, we're gonna be like 1930-ish. Um, which means we have to win like one or two more games. I mean, Toxic would be good here, obviously, but um, I'll just Earthquake. I'll just protect it because I know he's gonna go for the flinch because I'm in range to die to it. Well, if he gets it now, it could be bad. But yeah, I'll just protect because I also get rid of the Dark Pools PV, so like it's just basically risk free. Like I don't really know how to explain it, but. Between this and Pax, like Pax takes around 40 fish from that Dark Pulse, so I can also have, like if he ever flinches me, then I can go Pax or Bulu as well. It's like other checks. But yeah, Pax like takes a lot from Dark Pulse, so it's like, yes, yeah, so there he gets to flinch. So Protect should bring me out of range from my one. He could go a uh, Drill here if he wants to. But then I can go into my Mew. Uh, not the biggest problem. I think it's Drill a Scar. So he has to flinch me again. He, like I only need this for that and he gets it, which is annoying. You get like I could have technically um you can say that that was a misplay on me but I don't think it really was so now he has to flinch this again and I guess I don't want to risk that Probably. see but now if you flinch this I'm also like but he doesn't yeah, this is super low because yeah, this is like 20 H per death investment which is not that much obviously um yeah Avi Bulu could be um could be good on this team for sure. But Bandit is just so good because it Oko's toxic packs and stuff. Okay, so we're 1944. Um, let's just put us on the ladder. At this point, the thing is, I don't want to face that Veil guy again. No! <laughs> I just wanted to say I don't want to face him again. <laughs> and now we get him. Because last time, that was pretty much the guy um, that was put me to top 10. And um, now I'm too far away, so if I win this. I would be like so close to top 10, but I would still have to win another one. But if I lose this, I'm gonna be. Uh, thing is, would he explode here? Like I don't know. I should. I, I almost horn leech there. Okay, we eat a few. Okay, so the problem is the man if he has psychic right? and the we need the guess to check that. Like he could have changed the set, but I doubt he did. Also, he could, um, yeah. Like I was gonna say he's probably not gonna. Um, yeah, he has a rain dance on this, but I was gonna say he's probably not gonna hard focus best because I stayed in earlier. But yeah, now I. Can go Gastron. Um, he makes a good double there. Well, hmm. I also have Bulu for. Oh god, I keep blocking this poor guy. Oh my god! <laughs> this poor guy. I was gonna say, if my Mew goes to bed, it's not the end of the world in the sense that. Um, The sense that I also have Bulu to check the Zygarde. So, would have been hard to hard wake up there, but the was been a bit too lucky because I've already been dodging every move. So, doubles to Manaphy, which is fine with me. So, he has, he has to rain dance pretty much. To I could also go Pax and haze him, right? Because if he doesn't tail glow, he takes more toxic damage. Like, if he tackles, he takes more toxic damage. And I have to call if I take a plus to the psychic because I'm fifth death packs. Um, oh, man, if he... Oh, so psychic can have a chance to Oko. So I regret making that play. <laughs> Go try and heal. He rain dances, I'm kind of uh, screwed, but he always psychic stay, I think. So we go Gastro on here, breathing uh, rain dance. Just protect here, yeah, actually, no. And just off -grade. Don't drop me. Good. I don't know if I showed this guy that I have this one. Oh, fuck! I misplayed. Oh, fuck. I don't know why I didn't off -grade. There was a Terrible, terrible, terrible misplay on my part. Um, so yeah, I just lose this. But to be honest, I don't think I could have done anything about this. 
because um, Earthquake only does 14% as you can see so even if I got another Earthquake off he still would have had health right so I lost anyway um the veil was too bad yeah, yeah so basically I misclaid I should have defogged the veil away with this or this if I had if I had the chance to well <laughs> Pretty sure Bulu doesn't take a hit from mana if he gives us plus 6. Like, I'm trying to think what I could have done different. I definitely could have done something. But yeah, so this is really bad because now we are like back to having to win 3 or 4 games to make top 10. And yeah, I think I'll just end the part soon because it's not getting anywhere. Um, Stone Age to the power. Like, I can't do anything, nothing eats the hit. Yeah, nothing nothing eats the hit, I just lose. Like, what am I gonna do? <laughs> Get another game, I guess. I'm also getting hungry, so I, I'm probably gonna miss play more. <laughs> I mean, this rank is like cool, but they're 67 and 20 now. Uh, we're gonna drop down to like 1928. I mean, I can just click X. <laughs> and start searching for another one. Yeah. Okay, so that Veil guy... Um, I need to change something. Like, if I fix that Veil guy with Manaphy, I can't really do much. The Gastrodon could um, have beaten Manaphy if Veil wasn't up. But yeah, we dropped again now, uh, probably to 1928-ish, like I said. No, we dropped to 1924 even. I just hope that the top 10 guy decays a bit. <laughs> this guy's almost top 10, the Veil guy, though. Good God, let me uh, change the song again. Um, I'm gonna like get... If I win the next two in a row, I'm gonna keep going. If I lose one more, I'm gonna end it. Also, it's um, 3 a.m. here, so <laughs> that's like my ba like my juicy bad excuse uh, for my potential bad plays. JB lead Bulu and two it KO the Shuckle. Well, I guess. Yeah, like I don't know what he's gonna switch into again. Okay. Um. Doubles to Shuckle. Um, I'm gonna scout for Toxic here. I might just go here here and click Toxic on my own. Because it's free, cause, so why not? Let's so go hit the Zygarde, the Lele, or the Grand. Actually, the Lele doesn't want to come out. Zygarde or Grand want to come out. Like, Lele would only want to come out if it has, like, pummeling or something. So you can go Mew here. Um, Iron Tails me there. Could be Bandit. I don't know exactly if that's Bandit, because my Mew is super defensive, so it might have been Bandit. So we go Pex to scout the, the ninja set. So it's Ash, Spikes, now Skull. Um, I thought it would go Zygarde, which is why I didn't Toxic. Uh, in my opinion, a really bad play to go hard into Tapu Lele, but whatever. But yeah, I mean, this guy is relatively low. Because he, he's only 79. So if I lose this game, I'm going to lose a lot, a lot, a lot of points. So he Specs Lele. Oh, good God, I hate it. Why do you have to be broke, Specs Lele? Oh, he knocks off my left door. That's really fucking bad. <laughs> well, if my Mew gets toxic, it does get toxic. Like, I, I want to keep Helots off, especially the spike. Like, okay, it doesn't have toxic yet. I just go Gastro on here. Like, the main thing that toxic would be cool for on Gastro is for incoming. Lilies, like that's what I was just thinking, yeah. But if I can get a burn. Oh crit burn? Oh unfortunate. But yeah, protect is also great for stuff like this to discover what they lock themselves into. Um but to be fair, like news too low. Well I guess I can recover, stall out the terrain. But it does way too much. Good gravy. I can barely stall this out. So there's a drop I'm done for. Good god, it is busted. He shouldn't stay in without turning. Yeah. 
So Zapdos, he can double here into like, I don't know, he doesn't have a great double. Should defog here. Could be etched. Um, so I can go Pex, I know this looks like a bad play. Actually, I don't want to go Budo on a potential Iron Tail. Like Pex is max defense, so like bend uh, T arrows. Okay, he gets me there. I mean, I was thinking, I was thinking about, um, I was thinking about going into my Bulu death, so I don't know why he doubled to Lily. But yeah, you see how much that does? That's insane. That's so insane, dude. And now I give him health back. Which is really bad. <laughs> like, I don't know how to beat this mon. Without my heat, I have him lefty. It's like the main console of the team. Uh, you can tell by now, I haven't like talked about it, but grassy terrain. So Pex, Heatran, and Mew like never die and Gastron also never dies. That's also protect plus terrain on Mew and Gastron. Um, terrain and Gastron. But yeah, I don't know how I can beat the Lele. It's, he can double to Lele here and fuck me up. <laughs> he doesn't though. Okay, so he's not gonna go Zygarde or Lele here. Um, I'm gonna double to this, just to change up the terrain at least. Like he's getting health back, so this is, I'm actually helping him with this. But like, if I don't do this, he's just gonna like destroy me with Lily. <laughs> like, what else am I gonna do, dude? Let me get this juicy burn. Let's get it. Come on. Hard pincer, no burn. Fortunately, yeah, I don't think I can win this. And this guy's super low on the ladder, so I'm gonna lose so many points for this. Like, I can go Mew here, but I'm gonna get destroyed. Never mind, he side shot. So he makes a terrible play there. Uh, he should have just psychic, and he would have been good to go. He lets me breathe, basically. I really wanna stay in here breathing a spike, but it's just not worth, worth it. See, I would have been hard if I stayed in. Jet double back to Defog. I might have Toxic, but since he has Iron Tail, he has probably Iron Tail Eldritch T arrows and all that goodness. Yeah, he's definitely banded. Uh, I think. Maybe Bennett low roll, I don't know. Boy, stop spiking on me. Um, well, now he's gonna Moonblast. I should've gone the heat turn there, fuck. Well, I can go Pex here. Mm. Toxic this. I'm just gonna spam Toxic, because I'm not letting the Lele come in for free. <laughs> like, if I Toxic this and he stays in, I'm clicking Toxic again, like... Oh, he let me Toxic, amazing. Um... I don't think Heatran is needed for anything. Now that he's Toxic and he's on a timer, I can finally... breathe. Um... I guess I can plume me in case he switches. Yep. Uh, he's probably gonna spike, but... Yeah. Let's go to Zapdos here. Well, I could also just scald like a normal person. Scald is probably actually a really good play. So now we can go Zapdos. Well, if he has Toxic on that, I don't want to go Zapdos. So he doubles back. Good play, my guy. Good play. Let's go Pax here. Gastro here. Actually, no, let me recover first. Um. Well, Gastro is better in case he goes Lily, because then I can protect and toxic stall him a little bit. So he might he might go Lily here. Then that gas duck was only bit thirty. Is he even spec? See, he might go Lily like I said. So he can protect here, and yeah, probably just sack the heat room soon. But the toxic on the Lily was so important. But yeah, <laughs> this guy's super low. So like, I'm not even gonna get that many points if I beat him. He's probably gonna double back to Greninja. Nope. So there's the default. Encores me, not a big deal. Um, go Bulu here in the rocks. Get my terrain up. Um, it helps my Gastrodon. So he goes later here, he gets a kill, I guess. Again, okay. Does he even have a move to hit Gastrodon? If he has energy ball, I'm out. <laughs> but yeah, I was. I was gonna end this episode uh, way earlier. Man, if I just won with the Veil guy, I could have ended like almost like an hour ago or something. This is actually bad. If he has Fleur Cannon. 
I set up my terrain thinking it's good for me and then it actually is my end. I mean he kinda has to see him again to beat me. I'm gonna get really good damage off here. Protect because he has to beam. Quake, don't freeze me dude. Good. I'm skipping turns and I'm having having a heart attack some of these turns. But yeah, you guys can see, team obviously has flaws. Sec he turn here, he could SD, yes, I know, I'm aware. But he doesn't, thankfully, so... I can lose my Zap. Well, if he has Edge, um, if he has Edge here, I might just lose. But like that, you can't prep, like, Pinsa's kind of one of the ones. If he has, like, Edge, you can't prep for that Broken Mother. Uh, maybe Defog was the play, hmm. So I think I have to sack. Blue. Oh, I don't have a counter for this, so I think I just. Huh. I might just lose. Maybe I can live one after protecting it. It was too obvious, I guess. <laughs> so now I'm forced to T-Boot. Like, I would love to defog these away, but there's a plus two pincer in my face. Okay. Now my Zapdos, if I stand, is gonna get weakened, but I need rocks off, like... I need rocks off, like what? I know what to do. <laughs> I think I just lose to the... To the Lele. I mean, the tech is super obvious, but like... Try recovery on the... Not on the switch, I look like a Dawn, but if he stays in, I look like a noob. Like, I just don't think it was worth it to, to risk. Oh, fuck, this is a roll. I didn't realize I was this low. So I should have sec packs there, my bad. I mean, he could have also sd Oh, I lose if he gets the roll. Rip. How cool he doesn't even go for it. Um. I think I have to boost here in here in case he spikes. I get the fog. Well, if he's not spikes, if he's like Zemo. Yeah, I haven't called the entire time. I was gonna say earlier. He did that little to my other mon. Maybe he's not even the. But he's gonna spike here. Nope. Did I lose. Like. To be fair, like Dark Pulse was completely free for him, but. Yeah, I, can't, I could not have done anything. I lose the pincer now. Okay, so now we're not even. I don't know, I forgot to unpause it. I mean, I couldn't win that game. Now we're not even 1900 anymore. <laughs> oh well. I'll probably just end it and like light it off screen again, back up to 1950 or something. I know this is pretty much where I started earlier. Like, I played one game off screen that got me to 1904, like when I was at 1890, and now I'm pretty much back at 1893. <laughs> Uh, also, that Veilgard is still online. If I get him again, I just lose because it's like man. If he, uh, my team is like man, if he food behind the veil. Huh. Where am I now? Yeah, I dropped to number 63. When I started recording, it was number 53. Oh wow. Okay. Guess I'm gonna make give you guys a long special, but I'm getting really hungry. Um, I haven't eaten much today. Uh, but actually, actually, I ate something. Else. Now we get weird as fuck veil with the unit list. Which I don't know if I can beat this. Could be Sky Strike. Uh, but I don't really feel like scouting. <laughs> so he turn here on the explosion if he's dead set. Like I don't know what his user would be if it's not this, it's the Reuni. But yeah, they always make that play. So it's not the damn if it's explosion is just sash. That's what I figured. Um yeah, I guess sometimes I just don't think long term enough. That was one of the problems today, maybe. I don't know. Just, I thought he would try to put me to bed first. <laughs> if I had magma, this would have been way better in this scenario because I would have um, trapped his nine tails. I don't think I can beat Reunicus behind the screens. Like, I can beat Reunicus with Bandit Bulu uh, if it's not behind screens. Um, I guess I can Toxic in case he tries to go Zygarde like a noob. <laughs> But yeah, I'll get I'll get food soon and yeah. Actually, Nico Pax Hazem. If I had taunt, like this is also one problem I had. Like I had taunt. Uh, with his Z move, I just died probably. Yeah. 
What's it called? Like I can't really fit. Um, oh, well, is still going on for my life. I thought it would end, but just the hell ended. I can't really fit. Um, Taunt on Heatran because I need Toxic for Volcarona mainly and like Lele. And Jesus, your movie just kills me here. It doesn't, okay, good. So he's gonna go Venusaur here obviously, but I'm not doubling because I still get extra aggressive terrain back. It does so much, nice 4 times resist. Um, can I have to, I don't know, try to get some region here? I don't think I can win this though. Uh, so yeah, they're like other threats to the team. I mean, Vale is just weird because mons that usually beat the mons, like Clefable should beat uh, Zygarde, but if you have Aurora Vale, it doesn't do that anymore. I know I don't have a Clef on my team, but that was just an example. Uh, so I'll just recover here. Fucking Veil is gonna go back up. I guess I just... <laughs> See, I have to let this go to sleep and then go to Mew and defog the Veil away. So, like, he should put me to bed, right, if he has a brain. Right. Put me to bed, my guy. Um, why would you go hard into Zyga? So he risks... He risks getting burned there, which is a horrible play. Um, but yeah, the amazing part about this Mew is with Ice Beam and Wisp and like Neomax defense. You can still kind of deal with Zygarde even with Rail Up. Also, this team ne never loses to Halucha. Like, if you lose with Halucha, this. If you lose with this team to Halucha, you're on crack. It's like impossible. Um, I guess we might sub here, but usually they don't sub. If I hit this, I'm so. Gucci. Yep. So now I can even default because it's not a threat anymore. Like you, after you show them Ice Beam, they're not gonna sub anymore. Like, but sometimes I still click Ice Beam because I fear missing. Uh, but you can just softball here to show him that this is gonna do laughable damage. Yup. Just Ice Beam now. Cause he might DD again, trying to do more damage. Okay, he just fourth. It's cool. Thing is, I'm like really hungry, and I don't know if I can still think. So, gonna pause it for now. I don't know. Really not that motivated anymore because I almost had it. Like. I could have played that, like I said, like I talked about it earlier. I could have played that game a bit different. Well, that would have been the peak game, uh, the top 10 game. But yeah, I also think, I think it's a hard matchup. I don't know. Like man, the well played man, if you just wins, yeah, but fail up because the blue, like I would have to make the blue IV. And the problem, I don't want to do that because this team is like super bulky. The games take super long sometimes. Like I said, semi is also still type of team. And at least one, like ban the blue, just getting surprise kills on incoming heatrans, Kartanas. Uh, Okoing Tornadoes with Edge, uh, with Hammer also like almost Okos. Like, yeah, the, the downside is not having rocks. Like if you can fit rocks in this, or he'll build on Mew, those are good options. Like rocks would be amazing obviously, because uh, certain mons that are threats cannot come in as often if you have rocks. So that's definitely an issue. But like I said, overall it's more important that you don't have hazards on your side. So that's why I opted for double defog. With Mew or Zapdos, can, some of them can defog on a mon that the other one can't defog. Okay, I had something to eat. I'm back now. We are at 1911. Not sure if I recorded the last game. I think I did. But yeah, anyways. Um, so this guy has Rock's Tren. I guess Sky Strike Torn probably. Make a Scissor. I mean, he's gonna. I really wanna um, just superpower him turn one, break in the rocks. Like, I know it's risky as fuck, but if I get this. Like, this can save us a lot of time and make me put Bulu in the thumbnail. <laughs> I just wanna put Bulu in the thumbnail and say Bandit Bulu plus the fat boys. Like, when I was walking down getting my food, I was like, yeah, that's a, that's fire. I wanna put that in the title Bandit Bulu plus the fat boys. So I just wanted. I have to show off Bandit Bulu, right? And I know that's his rocker, so I figured he would rock there because my Gastron is in the back, so like he's not gonna match storm, right? <laughs> so one that was quite obvious that he was gonna do that too. If I get the play correct, I'm gonna regret position. And if I get it wrong, that's completely on me, and I'm probably would have ended the video, but <laughs> I just had to make that play. I don't care if it's a bad play. In the tournament I would not have made it probably, but yeah, just had to.
have to flex real quick. So it's probably gonna like you turn or something. But it's my Zapdos. Um okay knock off. So we can just toxic this. I don't think he has Torn, I think we have like Sky Shot, Knock of U-Turn, Default, something like that. So we get rid of his Rock Return 1, which means um, Zapdos now in the potential Sky Strike. We get rid of his Rock Return 1, which means if I can ever get the Defog off, the rocks will be gone as we dodge. So that's really lucky, but hopefully no Torn, then we get our Defog here. And I don't see myself losing this game at all now. With um, a high risk, high reward play turn one, um, I'm in a great position. Um, I don't think this guy has that many points. I've seen him play once earlier, it was a Sabella or something. Yeah, he's only 1788. So this will only bring us to like 1719 or something, probably. Um, yeah, we always go Mew on. We always go Mew on Bulu. Uh, I could also go into my packs, but yeah, Mew is the play just in case he's an SD variant. He's probably AV because he's weak to Ash Ninja, but yeah, just in case he's a SD variant. Yeah, this blue is super. F uh, this Mew is super fat, but it still has speed investment to outspeed element uh, SD blue, which is the more common set. If they're on Jolly SD, you say it's a CT minute chat and you click X. <laughs> because SD, if it's um, Jolly blue, is a big threat to this team. But yeah, like a lot of teams are not prepped for Bu for SD Bulu. Um, at le I at least have some checks for it. So this is completely fine with me. Um, I can just go Pex here. Cause I don't want to get knocked off. If he hard Sky Strikes, that's a good play on him if that kills. But yeah, I predict the knockoff and now he can go Zapdos. Um, yeah, he could predict that in double knockoff. If he wants to. Um, it's not the end of the world if I lose my lefties on Zapdos. So yeah, this will be another game. Um, exactly, he goes for Sky Strike. But it would help me if I had if I had uh, rocks to just speed up the game. Like after killing the opposing rocker, oh I could have t bulb depredating that, but it's not a big deal. He's gonna U-turn into Sing, I mean I'm just roosting to keep this healthy. Like, I could have Heatwave predicting the Zygarde, but just having this at full seems like a fine play to make. Because Heatwave on Zygarde, um, unless I burn him, doesn't really get me much. But yeah, like after you kill the opposing rocker, having your own rocks to get them up would just be really cool. Yeah, you guys can try if you I don't think that many people will steal this team, like, this team is really weird and it's just super slow, like I said. You can try a few different things, you can di try this church on Zapdos for like some, and Static even if you want. I have pressure personally because in the stall matchup, it helps me stall out chancy sizing tosses and stuff like that. Um, yeah, like the stall matchup, if they play it out, like I said, unless they don't have anything for Bulu, if they don't have a tank rule, then you can win with Bulu somehow if you, st if you stall out Jirachi of Wishes. Or like something people would do is like stay in with packs on Bulu and you can just Oko them with Woodhammer which is fire sometimes versus stall. Stuff like that, or you can... Actually, you, you, versus Wasabler, you don't want to Woodhammer turn 1 because they could prank, they will always wisp you. I think you still Oko them even if they wisp you prankster and stay in regular form, so I guess that's a potential play you could make. But yeah, um, I don't need my Mew for anything other than the Zygarde. As he predicts my um, Tapu Bulu there. Yeah, now I can just Bulu with. Um, I could also just go Toxapex. Like, I actually don't have to risk anything. And he just U turns out. Okay, completely fine with me. Um, I'll change the music real quick again. One second, guys. Um, Yeah, basically, when I walk down and back up and get my food, and then there was just like. Yeah, I want to finish this world to top 10. I know a lot of people are going to be annoyed. If the last part is like super long like or like two hours long or something like it might be even longer i just want to get top 10 if i don't get it like if i um let's if, if i tilt again like i didn't really tilt i just dropped back to 1900s ish if i just don't get it like if i like, lose two in a row i'm just gonna end it probably um but i think i can make it if i run into that veil guy again it's gonna be rough is that 1957 right i think he stopped playing or something because he hasn't moved in a while, he's still number 12. But yeah, also if the number 10 guy like decays a bit... Like if these guys decay a bit, I can maybe make it with 1958 or something. I can maybe make top 10 with that. I don't know. Okay, this guy's time is stalling. Let me pause it and change the music. He goes Tapu Bulu. Um, yeah, I just go Mew, like I said. He's like a Grassium variant, I don't want to risk anything. Well, he already showed me Sky Strike on his Tornadoes. But... Wait! He's banned it. 
Okay, so he's like the only guy other than me that who is this bandit Bulu. Okay, that's really bad. Um, fuck, I did not see that coming. Gee, I can toxic here. Great thing the Gunin just slash the Zygarde. So I have to be a bit careful now around the Zygarde if it's like Iron Tail. Huh, damn it. I did not think anyone else other than me uses Bandit Bulu. I have not seen that one in ages. Like, I thought I was the only one. I thought I was like having the sauce, the juice. I mean, I think um, as long as I hit this, I'm fine. Good. So what is he? The question is, I'm going to look up his three places quick to see if he's Dragon Lens or like Bandit. Yeah, I'm not sure what he is. I'll just go on the Bulu, I guess. Yeah, like I, don't, I, didn't, I couldn't find anything about his set. He's toxic. So that, if I protected there, I would have been in a great position. But the problem is... I'll double back to Heatron here. The problem is, um... Now I know he's banded, right? But earlier I didn't know that. So now I'll just Lava Plume. If he goes Zygarde, I can protect to discover he locks himself into. He's probably banded if he has Toxic. But I needed the information. If before I had the information if he's banded, I couldn't, like, stay in with my Heatron and protect. Because if he Dragon Dances, I could be in a bad position. Right? So, I still send by my play. Um... I'll just go with this. Um, he doubles. Actually, happy that he didn't attack me there to wear me down. Uh, he turn doesn't lose me much. Like he can go Greninja and get up a spike, I guess, which is annoying. Uh, if he goes Greninja, I might stay in, because I think he's just specs battle bomb, and I don't think he can Oko me because I'm um, max death. Right. Like this is sometimes it's really funny. Like sometimes, um, if I like don't care, if I just fuck around with this team, you can see to him when I do that sometimes. But I outbraked him. Like I stay in with the Heatron with Rotom and Toxic them and they like whisper it in my gastro. Or, like, they never really pump and even if they pump it only does like half. And then I have Protect Lefties to get my health back anyway so it's like really fire versus Rotom. But yeah Rotom is not common, I just phase that on like 70 hands or all that I usually. Um, okay so if this, if I don't make top 10 today, um, I don't know why this guy's taking so long, there's nothing to think about. You go to Zygarde or you go to Greninja. But if I don't make top 10 today for whatever reason, I might let up a new account again. I just like doing that. Actually, this account has a 5GX here. I have a new account in the back that is 20 and 0. Um, I want to go Pex to show this guy that I can eat up a hit. Let me show this guy that my Pex is super fat. Like, it's just funny. You go Pex, bop, you eat it up. <laughs> And you get Regenerator back, um, not a big deal. And yeah, now you go Pex to get more Regenerator, which lets in Zygarde. Um, Zapdos is a better play, actually, because um, it's not weak to t arrows the first turn, right? So it doesn't let the Zygarde in for that free. Like, he doesn't know if I have HPS. It's pretty obvious that I have Heatwave, because my team is weak to Kartana. That's the one problem I have with this team. Grassium Kartana can just beat me, because Grassium Bloom Doom like, kills Zapdos at plus two for sure if I'm full. So that I them that I give them grassy terrain that, that that's the thing I have a problem with, but you can also like catch the katana on the switch with superpower bulu some games or like if they have katana and was bulu most of them don't run smart strike so you can beat them one we one with superpower which is really funny. Um, so I think I just roost here. Um, is there a point? Yeah, I need this for tornadoes. I'm not staying in. Like if he outrages, that does way too much. Okay, okay, that does a lot. Um, I'm just. I know he's gonna go scissor here, right? Yeah. I'm just gonna hold this though. Ooh, he tried to predict my double. Basically, I was thinking in case he tries to predict my double. And even if he goes scissor, I get some grassy terrain plus horn leech back. I mean, not really just terrain because toxic does hurts me. But yeah, I, I almost had heat train. I almost wanted to click heat train there. <laughs> Thankfully, I didn't. But yeah, now Zygat is low. Because even if you go scissor, you can U turn to get Zygat back in, but he's toxic, so you cannot keep doing this. So he's probably going to U turn here. Um, I could have gone to Pex there, which was probably the better play now that I think about it, because like, the U turn is always coming out there. And I think Pex was not in range of Hurricane, anyways, even if it's fifth death, because he doesn't have a Z anymore, so he can't kill me. But yeah. Um, promise he's going to spike here. Um, I want to roost to flex on a guy, but it's just not worth it. 
Oh, thankfully I didn't. <laughs> okay, so now we just scald. And yeah, protect on this allows me to scout what his bandit Bulu goes for. But I don't think he should go hard Bulu. He should probably go Torn. I don't know, he doesn't really have a counter for Gastron. Um, he can try to flinch me, I guess. But that's not necessarily a great play. So Torn. I get to protect here. He's probably going to U-turn. I get that extra chip damage. Um, that means if he wants to stay in to knock me off, he will probably lose his Tornadoes in the... In the process, so he can has to decide if he wants to knock me off. That means he loses his torn, and he doesn't want to lose his torn. And now he doesn't have a switch in because if he goes to Zora Bulu, he risks getting burned. Um, if he goes Bulu here, and then he's probably gonna go back to Torn on my protect just to get that regen. Is what I'm thinking. Um, but I'll see what play I make depending on what play he makes. But yeah, this turned out from like an easy win after getting turn one correct to maybe not that easy because he has Bandit Zaya plus Bandit Bulu. Catching me off guard, killing my um, new or the bandit wood hammer. That was crazy. Um, so yeah, if he flinches me, I'm at. Actually, I'm still healthy. What am I saying? I'm just off quick here. Thing is, I get flinched now. I'm kind of fucked. So I'm gonna protect. Oh, okay, should have recovered. But yeah, I can. At least he gives me the terrain. So this at least means I'm still healthy, right? I can protect the ski where he locks himself into. Like, protect just has great use, a lot of matchups. Some matchups not that great. So now, um, like, what is he even double to? Like, he has to be banded. He okay my Mew. My Mew is bold near max defense. If he's not banded, like, some, yeah, see how much that does? Four times resist. That's banded as shit. So, yeah, um, Lava Plume is just my play overall. Um, Greninja can live that, but I think he doesn't want to get, like, the reason why I love a plume is because I don't want to go give the tornadoes a free switch in. Basically, it's that simple. And if he goes Greninja, he can live it, but yeah, exactly. Having the torn coming for free would be more annoying. Like, Greninja might be able to live it. Um, I don't think he knows that I have protect on this. Oh, I showed it already, never mind. And he still stays in, so makes a bad play there. And. Huh. Oh, the reason why I should keep the leftovers on Heatran is um, because Heatran is actually. Can also take Dark Pulses from Greninja because it's mixed with death. Because this is what's like a backup thing. If like your Gastro and Pax get flinched or is too low, then Heatran can also take Dark Pulses and has Protect. And yeah, Greninja is low already. Main pro thing I'm worried about is the Bandit Bulu potentially getting another kill, but it should be fine. I mean, I have enough sacks, I don't need all my mons. But yeah, I can Iron Next already for the next game. I mainly do this, like, I don't mind if I wanna lose, like, JYT said this earlier and then he hides his rooms, he doesn't mind if people see his teams, he just doesn't want, no, no, he doesn't mind if he wins or loses, he just doesn't want people to see this team, or something like that, and that's exactly what I'm thinking, like, I'm not trying to give everyone my squad, but yeah, I can sack my Bulu, like, it doesn't do anything, it's too low to, it's too low to check the Greninja, and it doesn't do anything, right? Can probably win a tie with this if he. Or like maybe I'll speed this because he's definitely adamant. Um, but yeah, he locked into superpower. Now I just get to click um, T bolt with my Zapdos. If he goes Scissor, I click Heatwave. He's locked into superpower, and it's crazy how that killed my own Bulu. Like, resist the superpower. I mean, Band Bulu is so strong. Um, yeah, like you guys can ask, I guess, in the comments. I can probably come up with more mods that Bulu can Oko. It's just super fire. Like, I've Oko Torn even with Woodhammer, so um, if you want, you can replace Stone Edge with Mega Horn, I've already talked about it earlier. Uh, but Mega Horn is like only for Tangros, and if Tangros is max defense on stall with Helmet, then you don't even beat them, because they can just pivot out, and then, because they have Regenerator, um, they can pivot, and then they can double back, and then with the Regenerator, they're gonna be back at full, so unless you catch them on the double back into Tangros and Mega Horn again, it's gonna be rough to beat that. But they can also try to wish pass it up or double it in to regenerate it up. It's just hard to break some sort of stall. So he breaks me there. Um, I should have just team builded again, I guess. Didn't lose anything. But yeah, the terrain is up. Which means... Yeah, I go Pex first. And attempt to toxic this. Okay, if he doesn't flinch me... Well, if he crits me, that would be really terrible. If he doesn't flinch me or crit me here... Great. We get the toxic off and he's on a timer. And now... Gastro beats him, and the other threat is Bandit Bulu, but it doesn't have, like, it doesn't beat me, because, so I just protect this guy, what he locks himself into. He goes for a grass move, I always have a free switch into my Heatran. 
If this was super power, I'd have free switch into my packs or Zapdos. Mainly, mainly packs. But yeah, he can't win this. Now, like I said, again, this is a scenario where rocks would help me a lot, and it sucks that I don't have them. He has to bank on my choke, pretty much. And I know it's late, I'm tired, but I'm not gonna choke like that. Also, uh, I know I probably threw one of the games away earlier. Like, not only the one where I talked about it, probably some other as well. That just happens. Like, after I almost made top 10, like, I was number 12 earlier in this episode, right? I just got really annoyed that I didn't make it, because there's another part that you guys have probably seen that went up before this, where I almost made it, and I didn't make it, because there was, like, a mix of hacks and. Yeah, I also played when I was tired, so I got super tilted. Um, at the moment, like, I'm a bit tired, but I'm not as tired as in the last video where I was, like, super dead. Um, that video is not... The, the, the moment I'm recording this, the video is not up, the other video I'm talking about, but when I'm loading this up, the other one will probably be up already. So, yeah, he can't win at all. I protect there because um, my train is slow. He would have outsped me and f fucked me up. Jagu Ninja, we just go Gastron, we don't want to get critty and give him Ash form. Okay, cool. Thing is, like, it just, like, a lot of things also depends, like, some matchups are, like, hard, because, like I said, the team is slow as fuck. Um, the team is slow as fuck, so... Like, some threats are ones that can, like, but you c ones that you can't wall, since they're gonna outspeed you, are gonna be a huge problem. Okay, so that brings us to 1924. I'm probably gonna pause it, unless I get a game really fast. Okay, I get a game really fast. Okay, so um, this is the French Reuniclus team that... Um, the Reuniclus is a threat. Oh, the Megalady, the Megalady just wins. Yeah, I can't win this game. Megalady just wins. Dragon Kill is cleft turn 1, which is cool. The problem is I don't know how to beat Megalady. <laughs> Because it has, um... oh no 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 no! The Megalady doesn't have Calm Mind on this team. I forgot about that. So I can actually win this game. The problem is the Reuniclus is the biggest threat, right? So this is like Power Spikes Leech Seed Knockoff. Clef also had Knockoff. Um, yeah, I'm just defogging here. The Tren, I gonna, I didn't heatwave there just in case he wanted to go into Tren. So I'm never going to heatwave just because he has a heat Tren in the back. Exactly, like. I know what place I can make and what place I cannot make. So this trend is... It was great that I killed his... His rocks cleft turn 1. But the problem is I took recall and Bulu is my main way to kill the Reuniclus. But yeah, this Ladi is... I, I remembered it. I was almost gonna forfeit, but I remembered the Ladi is not common. Unless he changed the team. But yeah, um, Gastro here. He's protect Magma of Power Taunt unless he changed this set. So... Um, yeah, I guess the Reuniclus is his play. He's gonna protect here, right? So I can recover just to flex. Like it doesn't give me much. <laughs> I scold you just in case he goes Ferrothon instead of Reuni. Um, so I go hard Tapu Bulu because he only has leftovers, which means he can't kill me. Um, so he sets up, which is a bad play. So now he should go into like it's too early to set up. So I'm trying to say he should go Ferro or Megalari, right? So I really wanna just super power break into Ferro, or I wanna double. But if he if he stays in, I lose. If I don't, like I can call Hornleech real quick. Um, I might make a mid ground, click Hornleech and not Woodhammer because if I Woodhammer into the Pharaoh, I take too much recall. If I Hornleech, I take like a little bit less. Uh, so it's this we need to set. Uh, side shop at plus one. How much does it do to me? Uh, no, no, not another attack, special attack. So that's 49 to 58. Okay, so I think I'm pretty free to click Hornleech. And like, I know, like, exactly, like, I knew he would most likely go into Pharaohstone. But this was like a safe mid-ground, because this way I don't lose much health. If I click Woodham, I lose too, lose too much health. But yeah, I could have superpower, like I said, but if he stays in on I superpower, I'm in a really tough spot. So that's why I didn't stay in pretty much. And yeah, now, I just switch a bit here. This is why double defog is hard. Um, the thing is, the terrain is gonna end here, so... Basically, yeah, what you guys can do is... There's no terrain. What you guys can do is um, wait. Why does Sasha do so much all of a sudden? Oh, because I have psychic terrain up. Sasha does that much. 
still think Holland. Oh, I should have Woodhammer. Ah, uh, this is bad. Well, he's forced to recover here. I only just once just to get that extra hole. I should have Woodhammer there. Oh, he's signal. What? He chokes on ass. So I assume he's either gonna recover or go Pharaoh Thorn here. Um, I think my play is always packed no matter what he does. Who's he trying? Um, back to the Nicholas. So he gets to recover now. But yeah, now I have my terrain back. I'm free to click Horn Leech and yeah. But yeah, this is really because it's like, as you guys can see, it's a really big threat. Um, because I kind of rely on Budo to beat it. Oh, did I even change the music? I think I forgot. Um, I just would hammer because okay. I was, see, this is not a problem. You can just set up, switch out, and I'm forced to would hammer, kind of, kind of. Because if I don't, like the rune is so big of a threat, such a big threat. Ugh. I should not have made that play, by the way, going hard bull. Um, I think I get the health back before I lose the health, right? Otherwise, okay, good. Otherwise, my bullet would have died there. I can just double back to reuni, but he didn't. Damn, I don't know if I can win this because my bullet is so low. I'm doubling to Bulu here. Actually, yeah, that's too bad. That's a bad play. Like, I knew he would make that play, but in case he stays in, I couldn't. He could have afforded to stay in there because Grassy Terrain was up, right? But so now I have to go Pex to haze this, I guess. I don't know. So you guys can see, Sasha doesn't do much. So I just hazy breathing. I can't wait. I'm faster. So this guy's not using the speedy set, which means I can actually uh, beat this with my packs. That's amazing. That's really great. Um, that's actually amazing. Cool. Uh, I mean, I have nothing besides people that can power him. I don't see a big problem with just doing this. Yeah, cool. So he's bad because. Like, um, you should always run speed on Rune because you speed packs. Well, I guess it depends on the team. But you should, you should. He's trying to break my Bulu really badly. But I have no reason. I can even waste the haze here. Um, I guess I wasn't the play. <laughs> but yeah, um, Sashuk only has 12 more BP, so he can't beat me. This is why you should run speed on Rune for packs. So yeah, I don't think I can lose this unless he changed it to Command Megalari, but I think it's this team is really big to Heatran if it's not Surf on Lari. So it's like Surf T Bolt Ice Beam Lari. Or Surf T Bolt HP Fire or Ice I think Surf T Bolt and Ice Beam. And then HP Fire Scarf Lando for Kartan. Yeah, yeah, I mix it up there for a second. So I guess for that I can go for Mew here or two Mew. But yeah, this double defog is like so cool. You can go Zapdos. Um then if the leech you go to Mew to get rid of the leech. Uh, back to Zapdos here predict in the knock, of course. It's just really obvious. And if I don't have to get knocked on my Mew, I don't have, then I can prevent it right. So yeah, Roost here. Like I can even stay in with my Zapdos, but every now and then if the leech gets too annoying, I usually switch out. So uh, Heatran is my play here. If he changed it to Command, then it's gonna be rough. Uh, I know Gangstron also wards this if it's the same set, but if it's Command and doesn't have sub, then Heatran um, works better versus this. So I think I can off power here because if he wants to go to his heat turn okay yeah he sh he has sub on Lari I forgot that but yeah I can just toxic this I beat this one one toxic then I protect then I switch out right I, like I don't necessarily be one but yeah, he has sub it crits me and you guys can see that there's absolutely nothing because yeah I'm expert of trend with Lando he's scarf so I can always protect to see what he goes for unless he changed the team of quakes I always go um Zapdos here Change it to as uh, you move Lando, that could actually be a big threat. Share back to Trend as I go Gastron. And yeah, thankfully, this Trend doesn't have Toxic, so. Rune is the, would have been the big threat on his team um, if he didn't have. If my Pex wasn't faster. But since my Pex is faster, this is not a threat at all. It's just. It's like a baby threat. <laughs> yeah, not a big deal, because if he CMs, I can always use up hazes. I have more hazes anyway, I can even use some hazes, even if he's not CM'd if I wanted to. 
you every time you see him, it's like, hey, he's for free, is what I'm trying to say, because he always has a CM already used, it doesn't matter if he switches out, so yeah, he can't win this, um, unless I somehow choke it away, and it's all thanks to his reuni being slower, okay, so we're gonna be around 1930-ish after this, but yeah, the video is already like 1 hour 50 minutes, <laughs> so yeah, if you guys don't have that much time, I will put this in the description, I mean, it's obvious if you can't just think about it you should just like watch like 30 minutes every day i guess if you don't have that much time that's crazy how i could have made it like the video could have ended after like 35 40 minutes <laughs> if i just if i just won that game as well which uh, i misplayed a bit and it was also a hard matchup and yeah also some games you have like since i have double defog i don't have to like really like i can just use my defogs some games like if you only have one defog or if you don't have pressure on your defogger then you like have to be really careful with your defog pp you can't just waste them but since i have two of them and i have pressure on zappers i can just like throw my defog pp out and yeah you can never get all hazards yeah this is not accomplishing anything um, i'm not like trying to attack him i just have the better matchup here since it's like there really would have been a problem like i said if he had um okay that's annoying for him but it doesn't matter like it would not have done much Um, I beat this 1v1, so... Scald so he can't freeze me, I just spam Scald, he's forced to recover eventually. Could I, uh, yeah, like... I guess I could have also... Oh, try to burn this, you don't get it. I mean, yeah, this is like the thing, that's why I kinda didn't wanna record with this team. Or this is why I wanted to get to like 1940-ish, and then start recording. Um, so I ha only have like 2 or 3 games in the recording and then just end it. Because the games are like super long and it's maybe not that interesting to watch for you guys. Like, <laughs> it is like. But yeah, if you guys like the team, I know and a lot of people are not gonna like it. Because it's way too slow, like, it doesn't. A scarf, a scarf on this would definitely help, yeah. A scarf would help. But if you like the team and you like know how to. Um, Fix the weaknesses. Like Hooper just wins with this team. I don't know how to beat it. Um, max defense packs can help because it can. Hyperspace is like a roll to two KO. Like hyperspace is like 48, like that's like 49 to 54 the packs, or maybe a bit more. Oh fuck! If I hit myself here. <sighs> this guy found his wincon X. I'm just going to mew. He crits me there, so thankfully I didn't stay in back to packs. You predict that. He does predict me. Eventually he's gonna signal beam exactly predicting my mew, and now I can hate on it. Yeah. Phew. So he could have won there with some, some juicy hex, I guess. I just recovered to have this back at full. I know I have region, but I don't want to risk anything after that. Confusion hit myself. See. Yeah, I lost my turn of thought. Yeah, if you guys like the team, like I said, you can try to fix the weaknesses that are mainly Hooper and Megalady. Like, the Megalady weakness, um, you would need like a Dark type, like a Greninja, or something like that. Like, I have a version like this that is almost like, st I would call it Stall, yeah. I would call it Stall. It's a version with Mandibus over Bulu. Which um, covers the Hooper weakness and it covers the Megalady weakness and gives me room to not run Defog or Mew because I don't run Defog or Mandibus. So Mew can either run whatever you want. Can run Elf Power, can run Heal Bell, can run Stealth Rocks. So it gives you an extra move slot, which can be really cool. Or another option that you have is also removing the Mew and adding a Reuniclus instead, which gives you a win con because uh, you lose the Bandit Budo, which is like. The way of winning the game faster and not having the game last forever. So if you use that version with Mana Bust, then maybe the unit over me is better. So you have a win con. I don't know. But yeah, I can resp <laughs> like I don't have a problem usually playing this out. If this was like my game that if this was the game that would get me top ten, I wouldn't have a problem playing it out. But this is just annoying because I know I have <laughs> to play more games after this because I'm. Um, like 30 points away still after this win from top 10 uh, so 1964 it was like who could smell this my all here 36 so yeah it's gonna put me somewhere here J 
Actually, I guess I can go Mew. Like, it doesn't really matter. Uh, if my Mew gets knocked off, I don't really care. Let's go back to Zap to see even here. I could even just default, but yeah, in case he makes that play, I can keep my leftovers. Not that I need them, but it would be cool if I could keep them, right? Um, but yeah, the reason why this obviously cannot be CM on this team, otherwise he would get destroyed by Heatran. Like, look at these Heatran counters. He would be CM stored power, like Heatran. If it has Toxic, it just kind of wins versus his team. His counter has his own Heatran or his Lander. So Lander can, like, switch in once. Trend can like live off power because it's like Spadef Trend on this team. This is a Spadef Trend with like a good amount of speed, like 120 speed or something like that. Not sure exactly, but yeah, it has a good amount of speed. Um, I don't know if it's speed for Bulu, uh, but definitely for AV Bulu, but probably not for offensive. Bulu. Not sure. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, I need stuff on this. I mean, I like this French team, but there's like a few months. There's like m like no one uses Bishop, right? But Bishop kind of destroys this team. What else destroys this team? Let me think real quick. Oh yeah, Pins is a big problem for this team. Because Gavlando is like the only answer. Let me upload and replay. Uh, did we just get to 1940? Oh, that's so hard, 1940. Well, we pr I probably have to win two more games, because, yeah. Depends on my opponent also. Well, the problem is not how much... I don't have a problem with if I get like 5, 10, 12, 15 points. I just have to keep winning. Yeah, number 22 again. Like, I really don't care if this video is going too long now. I'm just gonna keep playing. As long as I keep winning, I'm fine. So, 1964. So, we need 24 points. Okay. Um, did the I think the Vega stopped playing. I don't really know. Like, we can check who's on the ladder. We can change the music real quick and pause it, though. One second, guys. Okay, we're back. Yeah, I'm not finding a game, which means I might get someone who is low on the ladder. Okay, this guy has a Hoopa. Uh, what the fuck is this team? I mean, I'm not facing him. I'm just scouring ladder people now. So, basically, if this guy with the Hoopa is in the game, I'm not gonna search, because his team is... Like, Hoopa just wins versus me. Let me research, I guess. Sometimes if it takes long, that means you will get someone, like, really low. But this Evans guy... I think I faced someone with the same team. It's like an Auras team. And he had like toxic on roll. No, that wasn't this team, but like some team had like someone had like toxic on room for my gas room. That was annoying. Uh but I don't remember exactly. But I think I said it already, Heracross also threat for the team that I'm using. Mm. Yeah, no one is really laddering. Okay, we got this no, not like this. Uh but yeah, you guys can see I'm leading with Bulu quite often just to get up the terrain. Just, just lets me click Horn Leech for free because I'm pretty sure he can't Oko me and if he stays in I get all my health back. So we know he's Sash. So he has to decide between getting rocks and exploding here. What is he gonna do? Yeah, he's gonna decide to get rocks. It's, I figured he would do that. And even if he explodes, I don't think my Buddha was necessary. But yeah, this guy is also still playing. He has like a decent like his team is scary but yeah you guys could see we faced him earlier in the video but yeah let me stop looking at other games and focus on my own game but i don't think this guy is that high as didn't i just play him if the player is letting this go to bed he hard veins basically the player is letting this go to bed and then trying to default with me yeah this guy's 1804 so hmm this is really important to win good we get a toxic on the Zyra. I can just go Mew and Defog here. I'm not too worried actually about this because he doesn't have a mana feed. The only thing I'm worried about is the Zem and maybe the Megina. The Megina, depending on the set, can be really scary, but I think I should be able to pull this one out. Um, this is not a big deal, I just Defog. And yeah, he, like he can never beat me with Suicune because I have a Pax with Haze and the Gastron. So, like he needs Toxic with Suicune to hit my Gastron to do anything, otherwise he's just hard walled. Uh, so he subs down. Uh, obviously not a big deal. I'm just go Gastron here. I'm pretty sure this is just sub CM. Call mine. No, sub CM is called Protect, right? So yeah, what I can do here is just switch around a bit. I don't have to waste my PP. Okay. You wanna call mine? Have your... Good luck, my guy. 
Yeah, if we win this, that should only give us a few points, not that many, like... Maybe it will put me at... Um, I makes a good play there, I figured he would eventually make that play. Good on him, good on him. Fuck, because if he now focus best, I'm in a tough spot. Yeah, what was, what was I gonna say? If I get the Toxic on this, then it's pretty much done, because this is... Oh, we crit! I should have protected there. Fuck. Well, now I can just lose to the Zam if it has Energy Ball. Which, um, like I said, I have faced that version. Like, I really want to super power in the Megiana. Fuck. This just, from a guaranteed win, this was now it turned into a shaky game that I can lose because he crit me. Should have protected there. I had no reason not to protect because if he went Zygarde, um, it doesn't matter. Zygarde is already toxic anyway. So he's checking Zygarde now. I have Papa. I mean, if he can go Megina if he really wants to, I don't mind. Like, I'm just worried, so I'm so worried about the Zen right now. Yeah, if he didn't get the roll there, but Toxic should kill him, yeah. So worried about the Zen, good god. The, kind, the gear, I don't know, because if the gear weakens my gastro, then the Zen becomes more of a problem. If it doesn't, if it has E-Ball, it's a problem anyway. So let me try if I can find this guy's exact team. Um. No, I can't use a different team here. This is slope of weight. Who is this? <laughs> yeah, there's no point in looking it up if he has different sets. Man, fuck. Since this thing is up, the terrain is scattered, doesn't even be it. Like, that's the problem. Maybe I should make this off power, but since it's CM, that would also not help that much. Uh, let me think. Fuck. Um, and if he's flurking, I'm fucked here, but I think he's just bolt beam. This is the leftover set. Oh, he's flurking. I didn't think he would be that, so I just lose to this. Fuck. Um, how much does Budama do again? Because apparently these people don't like to run speed for Bulu on the Megiana. <laughs> huh? Why does it do so little? Oh, because there's no grass terrain. 71 to 83, the bull with the roll. Pretty sure he has t bolt so I just have to pray for the roll, I guess. Um, oh, if he's faster, he just wins. He, that did nothing, so he's bulk invested. Yeah, I shouldn't have caught like max HP McGee, you know. Um. So how much does t do from Zap to stage HP invested Kia? I think I just... Yeah. Let's just say he's like max HP. Let's just heat wave. Oh, you're fast. Wait! I forgot about the comment boosts. I'm insane. I completely forgot about the com... <laughs> yeah, I just lose this game. Unless he has t -bolt. Good, like these Veil people, like he's gonna have t right? Because you need that to hit again. These Veil people just beat me, obviously. I can't, yeah, I can't win. Um, so what was my mistake? I mean, he crit my heat turn and after that. Eden would have also been the one that checks this. So that, that's the problem. Zam, heat turn, like, overpower this. And yeah, the grassy terrain not being able to hit this. So left is plus terrain, and he always gets health back, and e quick does nothing. So, what I should have done. Like, I could not have prevented this, like, I, um, if I go me on Wisdom, I lose 1v1 one because one he CMs. I go Pax and Haze, like, I can't. t will does too much. Yeah, I can Haze, but he's gonna CM again and t will do it. So, let me say GG. Oh well, you guys are gonna get a really long episode here. <laughs> too many people are using this Veil team, so... We should probably let at a time. Okay, we get this guy. So, um, Psychic Spam is also another thing that is, like... Uh, another problem for the team, really threatening for sure. C train gets overpowered. Well, yeah, and the psychic turn up gastro, the psychic turn up gastro can't really wall Zen. But yeah, we get the lead correct. Um, really want to super power here. Leading the Pharaoh Thorn. Um, he might go Lando. Yeah, I don't know. It's like hard to tell, in my opinion. Most players tend to go 
Most players tend to go Ferrothorn on Bulu. So I just made that play, but I guess he was fearing superpower. I don't know, they just meant a superpower, whatever he predicted. Yeah, this matchup is rough, especially if this is like Focus Blast Lily. Uh, okay. So we can toxic the incoming Kelly, you probably don't miss my guy. Good. I need to protect here at all costs, even if he's calm mind, I just need to protect. So the packs, um Yeah, I'm not gonna scout every opponent like In the sense that I'm not gonna look up this guy's replays, I'm just gonna play because I need to get my points back. I can go toxic here because this is a fist of packs, which is like really cool. Like a lot of people stay in with packs on land because even spit death packs can eat the earthquake. But if you fist death you can like eat up earthquakes. So, like if even if Terrain is up you can munch an earthquake. If Terrain is not up you can still live it. But yeah the problem is my train is getting worn down so I'm gonna mew instead. Predicting the side shock. Problem is if he's like CM Or if he moonblasts me here. Basically I'm whispering because if he goes Zam and I whisp him, that means he can't Mega. Otherwise, he, like if he Megas, he would take Chip from Burn. So yeah, he just goes Pharaoh. We got this so that Hazards don't go up. But yeah, the thing is, this episode is gonna be oof. <laughs> if I lose this game, I'm probably gonna end it. I think I already said that earlier, though, that if I lose again, that I'm gonna end it. Then I didn't end it. So, heat wave. I mean, he's not getting a pass at all. But yeah, this guy has a hoop by this LQQP guy, so I should try to avoid him. <laughs> Even though he has a rapid dash, hoop is still a big threat. But yeah, I just double protect. Well, I mean, I hate also, I hate doing that, like trying to. Um, I wouldn't predict him to go Lele here, so I'm gonna go Bulu as a mid ground. With Landris, I can just Woodhammer to kill this. Because he doesn't have me intimidated, right? Um, but he didn't have the intimidate on me. I don't know how to say that, my English is kinda shaky. As you can tell, I'm German. Most of you guys probably know by now that I'm German. Uh, but what was I gonna say? That pretty much just means he cannot keep clicking rocks. Like, if I just keep going out with some default, it's just kinda boring to watch. So, I just want to show you. Band Bulu plus Fat Boys every few minutes. I gotta remind you guys. Bad Bu Band Bulu plus Fat Boys action. <laughs> so it's not full stall, right? I have Band Bulu that has like offensive presence as fuck. Uh, a lot of games I would appreciate it being a veto versus that ma versus that Manaphy. Those Manaphy matchups I could have won if I was AV um, versus. Versus who? There was another matchup where AV was better. I forgot. Oh, this is. No, I actually can't remember. I mean, there's no psychic terrain, so. Who are you, Lele? I mean, he's gonna move us. No, right there. Should not have made this play. What if it's Fairy and Lele, aka Unset as fuck? It's not. It's not. There's no way. But yeah, uh, versus Rain, I haven't faced Rain today. It's always, usually it's fun versus rain. Like sometimes, obviously, I scout if they have a fast offensive pillar with hurricane. I scout for that usually turn one. But sometimes I just stay in turn one. Um, if I have played them before and know that the pillar bar doesn't have hurricane or is slower, or if I know that pillar bar is slower than my um, than my Bulu, so I just click one to turn one. And then sometimes they go tornadoes and just die in one, or sometimes they um, the pillar bar just dies in one, which is really funny to watch. It's just fun. <laughs> I mean, if he's not CM Lele, this should be fine, right? I see, think I think he's Scar just from how this has been played, and then maybe Specs killed you as he moved Gengar. I don't know exactly. Like in this matchup, there's like no Zygarde or something like that where I need that I need my Mew for, so I'm fine with throwing my Mew into the Lele, even if he somehow beats my Mew with the Lele. It's uh, not the end of the world. Because, uh, like, as you guys can see, if the Lele is not toxic, like, it's not getting worn down, so I cannot keep going heat on it. I assume he's gonna go Gengar here. Uh, potential plays are Gengar, Zam, or oh, Fishing for Crit. Okay, I see you, big dog. Pharaohzone, Gengar, Zam. Oh, is he? He's not getting stronger, so he's not metronome, okay. So he gets me, I guess. I should try to get my Bent Bullion so that he can get some health on that. 
and on my Heatran especially. Okay, let me go Heatran here because I've been going Mew all the time and he has been clicking Moonblast. So I assume if he clicks Moonblast again, right? Yep, then I can get my Heatran healthy, which is cool. So I'll just go Lava Plume here. Uh, the drop's a little bit annoying, not the biggest deal though. Getting this healthy is cool to check the Zam. I mean, if the Zam is not... So yeah, Blue here has a mid-ground because it covers the Lily double and it covers the Secret Sword. Uh, he stays in, so now I think... Um, I know there might be Specs. I'm just gonna homage. I hope he goes hard Gengar and gives me all that juicy health. <laughs> This Gengar is going to take like 70 or 90 or something. It's going to take so much. I'm pretty sure would have my Oko's Gengar, but uh, Holly just wouldn't, obviously. Well, he could stay in here even. I just didn't want to go pack stand, have him double into Lele. Uh, probably should have done that though, because... Then he get chipped is annoying. And what's it called? Like, even if Lele comes out, we already know it's probably Scarf. It cannot really break me. Like, it has to crit on you to break through. And my Tren is also still there. But I kind of want to be careful with uh, throwing Tren into Lily as we can see because I want that for the Zam So I can take a focus blast But yeah, now we have the terrain up. Uh, so if he doesn't change the terrain. Oh fuck, he's Z-move Kaleo That kills. I didn't think hmm. I thought he was Specs because that secret sword did a lot oh, Well, I, I was thinking really wrong there Um His trick. Um, I think I'm fine with my pecs getting crippled because my pecs does nothing this game. Oh, he gets a black sludge. That's actually bad that he gets a black sludge. Well, he would have gotten leftovers anyway because I'm either month of leftover. <laughs> Split F drop. Okay. I mean, yeah, I didn't need my Bulu for anything, but the terrain would have been amazing to keep my heat train healthy. So I'm kind of impatient, I guess, now. Uh, what was this guy's rank? 1850? 1840? I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, so... I have to check real quick where I am where I am at the moment. 1913. Damn, I dropped so many points with that loss. God, wasn't I... Oh, fuck, he is CM. Oh, shit. Oh, he's CM'd again. Now he's gonna Z-move and fuck me up. I thought he was Scar. Oh no, he's not Z-move. His Z-move is on the Keldeo. JB hit. So the Protect is really obvious here, so we're gonna Lava Plume. Like, he could just attack again, right? Oh fuck, I need this for Zan. Try to just sack something else. Hmm. Well, but I, I think he's gonna, like, predict my Protect. Actually, it's fine. Protect is always the play. Because... Like, he has no reason to see him because he still kills me the next turn. So I protect, I sack my pegs, I think. This pegs does like nothing this game. Come back in and I protect. Um. Hmm. Maybe going Gastro, protecting, and then going Heatran would have been the better play, I think so. Is it? I didn't reveal that yet. Man's just gonna trick me a black sludge now. <laughs> um. Yeah, don't mind my Zapdos having a black sludge. I don't mind too much. Should be fine. Don't poison me, dude. Come on! Fuck! That's so annoying, because now I'm gonna have to recover more often. I mean, that doesn't make sense, both have to recover. Oh, that's so annoying. I mean, sacking the Bulu was my misplay. I clearly have to say that. I did not think his Kelly would be z -Muff. I definitely did not think that. I thought the z -Muff would probably be on the... I thought the z -Muff would probably be on the... Either the Gengar or the Lele, but then I thought the Lele was Scarf, I don't know. And even if he Psy shocks here, but he doesn't. I'm still fine even if he does. Fuck. The terrain ends, so now 
My Gastron would be able to wall him if he didn't. If he didn't. Um, why did I go to this, by the way? He probably has Shadow Ball. So that was not the play. Yeah. I was just gonna say, if he didn't poison me, my Gastron could wall him, but he also spit death drops me. I mean, I should have gone to this on the Focus Blast, but that would have done even more than Shadow Ball. Like, I just don't know what to do now, right? Like, what am I gonna do? Um, I have to, like, dodge. Like, I know he's gonna Shadow Ball, I can't do anything about it. Yeah, I'm gonna go Heatran and dodge a Focus Blast, like, I don't know what else I can do. And there it is, there it is. Wincon detected. I mean, I think I deserve that. You get the poison and the spit death drop. Like, I'm using fat team, so you can say it's always. I know I'm gonna get hexed eventually, that's just how it goes. Um, I'm pretty sure I was not in range to die from it, right? Um, but yeah, he's probably gonna switch here, yep. So yeah, I mean, if I didn't get that dodge, I would have just probably. Um, oh fuck, I'm weak to Gengar now. Oh yeah, then I beat this one we won. Yeah, great, phew. If I didn't uh, dodge versus Zem, I would have just X and on the recording probably, because I'm just... It's been so fucking long, like... It's crazy how long this recording has been. Um, this dead might have recovered Zem, uh, might be... Yeah, I guess it's not needed anymore. Oh, Mew and Softballing would have been a potential play there as well. Yeah, we just love a plume. Protect. Call it a game. But yeah, that was the reverse hex that I needed. The dodge and the focus blast. I mean, that's how focus blast works, right? Okay, so after winning that, we're still way lower than we were before, which was like 1940, right? I don't remember. I actually don't remember how high we were, but yeah, we're 1929 now. Uh, probably gonna get some veil kit again. Okay, number 29, but the thing is we need um, 35 points. I'm gonna pause it, change the music, be right back. If anyone is still watching or watch the entire thing, big props to you. Doubt, so many, doubt that many people would still be watching, though probably like 10% of the viewers that started watching from the beginning are still watching now. Whew. Came back. Um, I, this took forever to find this game. So I think that this is probably a guy, yeah, with like no points. So this is not good if I lose this. Um, drill is actually a problem if it has Iron Head. Yeah, if I lose this, it's pretty much the end of the run for today. Because <laughs> I'm gonna lose so many points because this guy is low. Um, I can try to look up his replays. I think this is like um, R some RMT with like double sash. And then like fly for special guard jump with Draco. But don't quote me on that. Actually, let me try to figure out. He doesn't have any replays. Yep. Well, we're just gonna play then. That's fine. Like, I actually don't mind. Um, because it's like annoying to always like know the sets beforehand. So I think this is a like, Sash spikes. The problem is, probably has like Ice Ice Beam HP Fire as well. Um, yeah, I knew it would probably spike, right? It's gonna taunt me here, I assume. Yep. Problem is, um, like I knew he was gonna spike, but in case he ice beamed, he gets all, all three layers now. This is actually bad. But in case he ice beamed, I couldn't stay in with my bullet. What I'm trying to say, I should have stayed in. Whatever, it's fine. If I stayed in with my bullet, he would have only gotten one one layer, cause the next I would have only just brought him down super low to a sash, right? Um, then next turn he would have tried to ice beam me, I would have gone pex and then I would have scalded on the taunt. So he only had one layer, but now he has three layers instead, which is bad. Um, so... I have to get up a def get up a default. Somehow. I get a burn, which is cool. Um, I don't remember if this or this is the Zemo user. But yeah, we're just gonna go to Gastron. He T-Bolts, which I don't understand. We're gonna scold. Um, yeah, we don't wanna let anything in for free like Zygarde. Chomper Pincer, we don't want those in for free. I, I could see him just 
Second degree ninja, so earthquake is a potential play. Yeah, earthquake actually, I like earthquake. Um, okay, he goes like that, which is a bad play. But, 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 but. You can go Mew here, right? If he's Dragonium, that's a problem, which is like an old set. Fuck, I have to cult now. I don't like this because of the Dragonium. Um, Ice Beam is a roll to kill. Wait, what? It's not Dragonium. Oh, it's sweet! It's oh, fuck my life. I forgot about that shit. This is like some old RMT. So if I defog there or whisked him, I would have just won the game. But now I'm in a shitty position. Because I lose my Mew. Fuck! I mean, I have to set my Mew now. That was a huge misplay on me. The like, weakness policy target is a thing. I don't know how I could forget about that. So if he has Iron Tail here, I can just X out. Huge, huge, huge misplay by me. Oh my fucking god. So I could have whisked him, defogged, and all peas not have headers on my side and be fine, but instead I have a dead Mew and an almost dead Bulu and headers still on my side. God. So yeah, I mean, this team is so old that I didn't remember the RMT, right? But, um, Beatness Policy Zygarde has been a thing like lately again. The thing is, like, you never know what these Zygarde's. Sometimes they're sub, so if, I w if you wisp, you're in a shit position. I think this is like special jump with Fireblast Draco. I don't know if there's an earthquake. Um, now Toxic would be good to have, but I don't have it, which sucks. So I'm gonna recover here, trying to like predict the Draco. I also kind of want to go Zapdos because it covers him going Pinsir and it covers him. I don't know. No, I don't know if Zapdos covers Draco. Kind of does. Yeah. Mm, yeah, I should have probably attacked there. Gee, I think he's gonna get his third layer. He doesn't. I can still win, but I'm. It's like rough. It's like rough because I let him kill my Mew and not, and I didn't get rid of hazards. So I don't think he's edge. He could double here, but into what? Into Driller? If he has Toxic on Driller, or if he has Rock Slide? Nah, he needs Toxic. Rock Slide doesn't do enough. This up this from Scarf Drill doesn't do much. It's like 40 ish, I would guess. Maybe a bit more. Okay, that was the driller. I'm gonna go Pex predicting toxic. Um But the problem is I need to burn this like <laughs> I can level off quick because I'm fit up, right? So if I burn him I'm in a great position, but I don't fuck. Um No burn, like what is this? <laughs> Fuck me dude. Um if I let my Zapdos get toxic, I lose the pincer. Um but I don't know what else I can do, like Like I know he's gonna toxic me here, but I have to get rid of his health. Oh he's gonna spam rocks, so he's gonna keep rocks up. This in Home Beach. Well, now you can also toxic this. I mean, his last move is spin, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, I threw this game away by not knowing that it's, it's policy Zygarde. Now, Pinsel with the rocks up fucks me up. Um, you can just go Pinsel and Frustration or SD here. Yeah, like, I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. Oh, I can go Heatran, right? Because Terrain is up, which means Earthquake doesn't kill. He's gonna go Garchomp, so I should probably Toxic. If he stays in, that's like a really, really bad play. He should go Garchomp, right? Everyone with a brain goes Garchomp here. Well, I can still try to burn it, but Toxicing, it guarantees me more out of the turn. Good. So it's not completely over, but it's still rough. Oh, why did I... Nah, the terrain just ended. That was not the play. Why did I do that? Oh, fuck. 
Well, I needed health on this, so. Yeah, I think my Toxapex here. See, Dracos. Okay, so now I can go Zapdos. Defog. I know I'm gonna be low, but at least rocks are gonna be gone. I could roost the breathing Draco, but like. I think I can maybe roost next turn. Okay, cool. So I have a slight chance now, but it's looking rough. <laughs> mm -mm. I don't know. Depends on a few things. I think he just made me faster than him because I'm minus spin. Minus speed cast. John? Yep, he just made me faster. So, off quick. Off quick again. Nah, that's fine. Zapdos outspeeds them because there's still one more turn of Trick Room. Um, not worth it risking Gastro here because. Gina is still alive. So he has these. Uh, I really want to roost here. Yeah, like that was so obvious. Um, but it's not the biggest deal. See, this is the problem where I, not having rocks um, but versus a mon like Pinsir, when your checks to Pinsir are low, it's like really, really bad. So I'll just go Gastro here. Mm. Do I go Gastro? Yeah. Because I haven't showed him my protect yet. I mean, well, I could also just click recover, which is like the same thing. But yeah, now Pinsir comes in. And I think Pinsir kills my Zapdos because he chipped me down. It's like a roll to kill my Zapdos. So I might just have to go blue to... Um, and Stone Edge. Let's see, if he has these again and I kill him, that would be so lovely. Or if he Earthquake's predicting my other thing. So now... I have to call Keytran. Custom set. I don't think Lava Plume kills. It's a roll, so I have to Toxic this. Um, how much does Earthquick do? Oh, Earthquick kills. What the fuck? Well, then I'll just lose if Earthquick kills me. Well, I don't know what I could have done then. <laughs> Uh, yeah, like he, kill he just wins then. Fuck. Wait, there was a turn of trick room. I should have tried to burn him when I had the turn of trick room up, so I misplayed this. Oh, well, the, the video ends here right then. Oh, fuck this. The video is not ending here. We keep. <laughs> that this is such bullshit, dude. Like, I had this game. I would have won this game, like, in so easily if I, like. Had a clear mind, like if I would have considered every option, like weakness policy, like it is an option that you have to consider. Um, <laughs> the thing is, like if I keep playing, I'm gonna get mad. It's gonna be like a cycle. I'm gonna get ultra mad. The video is gonna be five hours. We're gonna end at, end at like 1700s. I don't know. Good gravy. Let me pause it. We are back and we get sun, which is not necessarily an easy matchup. I think I played this guy earlier, but a different team. Yeah, Sun is... Wait, it's an Untailed Sun. I was gonna say Torkoal Sun. Um, just leave with Heatran here. Oh, he could lead with the Endo, and I know that. It's with that. Um, so Venusaur is gonna come out. Yeah, I definitely like rock. I, like, I know I need rocks, but... <laughs> of power and Tren is like... If I give Elf Power up on Trend, it's like an unset. I don't want to do that. Because Lando on a Bulu, which is a shit play in my opinion. <sighs> but who am I to judge anything? Like, basically, you can tell at this point I'm triggered. Now I'm just clicking buttons. <laughs> this could be Bloom Doom Heatran, which would just kill my Gastron. I don't know why would why people go Bulu like Lando when they have a Venusaur. I just don't get that play at all. 
I'm gonna go Bulo. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm just gonna unleash. Like, he's gonna go Venus or this. Okay, he sends Texas Lando. I mean, he's gonna live with Bell if he's offensive. But he's offensive. It's like, I just don't get why I go dead when you have a Venus though. Like, what? I guess a Venus is offensive? Nah, still, I don't get that play at all. Okay, so I let my trend get low for no reason, so now I don't have a good 9th head switching. Amazing. Nice jokes on my part. Lois. So if I had trend there, I would have been Gucci. Um, but you're toxic here in case he doesn't go Finny slash Venusaur. If he goes Venusaur, he just wins because he clicks growth and I lose. Uh, which is like another weakness for this team, but I didn't mention it yet because it's like not common at all. No one uses that. Okay, we got a Toxic on a Houndoom, which is clutch. Just go Gastron here and protect. And yeah, Solar Beam. What? the fuck? What? Not even Dark Pulse, Solar Beam. Savage. He just kills him with Dark Pulse. Um, I should have gone Heatran there. Because now he can switch out. Well, I just lose if he has a move to hit my Heatran on this. Uh, which he probably has. No, he doesn't. Okay. Okay, so, I don't know. Letting Heatran get low was such a misplay. Okay, we'll just upgrade here. Go top of Bulu. Um, go to Heatran. So apparently this guy likes to click will wisp for no reason. Click off power. HP ground nine tails. Wait, what? That did nothing. Should have toxic him. Man, I don't think I can win at all. <laughs> but yeah, whatever. So we can double tap a Bulu here on the Finny. Um, the Venusaur. And Stonish the Venusaur here. The Houndoom Sag. Fuck. Oh yeah, also I have Oko defensive zap just with stone. I don't know if it always Oko's from full. Oh yeah, I think it's only Oko because it was a fast zap. I don't remember exactly. Jackie Train always. Elf power. Um. Fuck. If I elf power again there, I would have been hot. I want to predict the taunt and earthquake, but it's like not worth it. I'm just gonna mew here and default, I guess. Like I know I'm gonna get destroyed by this, but I gotta try something. Um, probably should have gone hard heat train, but I just wanted these rocks go. <laughs> Don't think he has earthquake. He would have gone for it by now. Oh, he goes heat train. Why? Nice misplay, my guy. Oh, he's gonna rock here. Um, he's probably gonna rocks. Yeah, I should have predicted that, but it wasn't worth it. Wasn't worth it. They get good damage on the Venusaur. I keep spamming off power here. Get some juicy protect action with the leftovers. Um, just got Tapu Bulu here. Ah, uh, Honleech. Wait, superpower seems like a good play here. No, I should have done that. Or edge even. Edge hits the Vino and the trip. Oh, unfortunate, unfortunate. So we go Gastro, we click Scald. This Venus all gets burned lit. Lit, lit, lit. Um, the only problem is the... My train is low and... What is the problem? I think I can win this. Um, if he had like HP gun on Vino or like Earthquake, this would be a different story. But yeah, um... Oh, oh should I keep clicking only when I click, when I should click Stone Edge. And you see he's faster, which is exactly what I didn't want. Um, unfortunate. Hmm. He has taunt, otherwise I would go. But yeah, I'm at edge here. Wait. Yeah, I'm edging. Hit, 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 hit. Thank you. Um, Gastrodon. 
Well, this could be Solar Beam Heatrim, but I think he would have shown it by now. Pretty sure he would have shown it by now if he had Solar Beam. If he bobs me with Solar Beam, he props to him, but like, yeah. So. Just protect ones. Of quick ones. I don't know. Just fuck around a little bit. I was trying to like catch his Heatrim double. <laughs> Recover ones. I don't know. Uh, I can try to burn this, which I don't get, obviously. Um, just go Zapdos here and I try to defog. Probably just T bolt. Okay, I'm fast. I'm good. What's the correct plan? I'm good. Okay. So back to 1980. <laughs> Let me change the music again. Hopefully, no more veil shit. Good God. Oh, also, if we get stall, um, I think the recording is done because that game is gonna take like uh, five hours. And this predator guy, I think he uses stall. So if I get him, rip. Unless he, unless someone agrees to tie. So my boy Roach <laughs> right above me there. Um, I think no one is laddering with a lot of points. This Harrison Harry guy, he's decent. This Relanus guy, Relanus guy, he spams rain and he's like not that great in my opinion. Um, like you can say whatever you want about me. I know this is like that team that some people um, will not enjoy. I've already said that, right? Um, not getting a game for some reason. Oh, we got stalled. So exactly what I didn't want. Um, which I'm gonna try to kill his Sable at turn 1 so Tango is gonna come out here yeah like this is just boring and long game like no one wants to play this shit <laughs> it's just super AIDS and boring um, he has Pukumuku stall which is I think is it heal bellless? if it's heal bellless I can win by burning his entire team as you can see, I'm not lucky with getting burns. <sighs> Gonna haze here just in case he wants to protect. Um, I'm gonna scald in the incoming Sableye because he's gonna go Sableye, but it's my toxic, right? Um, exactly, and we get the burn, cool. Um, so if he doesn't have heal bound chance, he does his doable. Why is this guy so low? The other day when I checked this guy was like 1900, good god how bad can you be? So he like uses stall and then he tilts down with other teams. Great fucking player. So we go Zapdos, we go back to packs. I didn't want to waste all my skulls, so if he shows me heal ball, I still need my skulls, right? So I can't just sort him out. Oh, also this guy has block on his Pukumuku. So that's a pain in the ass, they can trip my mons and just fuck me up really, really badly. Yeah, let me um, try to kill the Chansey. Unfortunately, he has a brain and he doesn't stay in. See, if I had Mega Horn now, then he would barely live it, and then he would have to pivot into Zapdos. Oh, he's like AV Tangros. He doesn't even have helmet, which is cool. That I don't take helmet. I mean, I can try to Toxic, but he's gonna go Sableye here. Um, but yeah, I can try. What was Chansey? Um, I mean, I think this has Toxic, but oh, I thought it didn't have Rocks. If it has Toxic as well, um, obviously annoying, but not a big, not the biggest deal. So yeah, um, I'll play this for a few turns and then I will pause it because I don't think we are getting anywhere. I mean, he's stalling my Defox, but this is exactly why I run double Defox. So that way, um, that way, damn, if I crit this Tangros, I, then he can still go Zapdos. But what was I gonna say? Yeah, I have double Defox, so like he can pressure stall my Defox. All he wants, it doesn't necessarily matter. Like, it doesn't matter, that's what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. That's why you run double defog right there. Oh, is he toxic? Um, that's unfortunate. <laughs> but it's still fine because I have a Mew. I can go to Mew. 
then he's gonna get rocks up, then I'm gonna defog, then he's gonna toxic me. Um, I'm gonna go Zapdos here under toxic to stall it out. And defog, because pressure stalled out some toxic PP. Yep. And yeah, later on the chance you just roost again. I guess not bad, like toxic doesn't matter. So we get that. Um, Like this doesn't matter at all. It's, and he thinks it matters because he doesn't know that I have double defog. <laughs> I guess. But yeah, I'm getting chipped a bit every time we do this. Um, just wood hammer. Damn, 49. Could not, if that would do a bit more, I was able to break. Like he would be forced to side puke and Muku then. Unfortunate. Um, okay, so can just swap our crit his tangrowth. Nope. <laughs> Unfortunate. If I had toxic on Bennett Bulu, that might actually be the wave to hit Tangrowth and yeah, that would be cool. Um, I guess he doesn't have knockoff, I don't know. I mean, I don't want to waste my skulls, but in case he stays in there, I wasted one. Um, but yeah, my Zapdos is getting worn down this way, so eventually I just have to go to Mew and Diva with my Mew. I cannot keep um, doing this with Zapdos. So you can see I'm getting worn down as shit. If he tosses me there, I would have been super low. So roost first. Play a bit with rocks up and then default with me, I guess. Not the biggest deal. <laughs> So fun to watch, dude. So fun. <laughs> I mean, this is my fault for not having a team that guaranteed beat stall with ease. Um, I need lefty, so if he double knocks here for some reason, I don't want to waste my scald here. Should we go Mew once? Oh, I guess he can just sp spam Estos. Huh. Maybe Heechin wants to play. Yeah, I'm, what I'm trying to do is get Zapdos in on the Toxic to stall two Toxic PP. He predicts that um, some force to roost. Um, not the biggest deal though. Like, um, the thing is, eventually he can just switch stall. What is this block? Um, let me Toxic this. Cool. So if he doesn't have um if he doesn't have heal on his chances he's pretty much done. Because he just let his thing get toxic. Um Oh it has rest. Fuck! Oh this is AIDS. Oh this is so AIDS. Never mind I lose. Forgot that he had rest. I mean I don't necessarily lose, but he's gonna PP stall me out. Oh this is so AIDS. At least he can't toxic me because I'm already burned. But like, what the fuck, dude? Stop. Yeah, no one wants to watch this, so... I pause it at turn 100-ish. <laughs> you, man. So if anyone is still watching at this point, you're actually insane, like, officially. Earlier it was just half insane, but now you're super insane, officially. Man's actually earthquaked. Mm, I guess I go Mew. The problem is if he has Toxic on this. Uh, I don't think I have another choice though. Yeah, at least I'm able to keep rocks off with the juicy, juicy double default action. Stalling on some seismic tosses. But yeah, even if I'm able to. Um, like, stall him out of seismic tosses, right? It's still not that great because at the end he can just switch around, PP stall me with his block. 
Puke and good bullshit. <laughs> Yeah, it would be amazing if I had Magnus Storm on this to trap the Chansey. But then you still need Taunt to beat it and I don't have Taunt, so I wouldn't beat them anyway. So as you can see, um, this game will take forever. If I had like... Even if I had... If, if I had God, I can't talk. Even if I had Hazards, I couldn't necessarily get them up because he has a Sableye and it's up to Look, I wouldn't need Hazards to break through the tank, right? As you can see. I mean, if this has toxic or crits my mute, then it's pretty much over. Like, it's not over, but like, the team is getting worn down as fuck, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> you can just toxic me here if he has it. But I guess he gets. No, he gets um, synchronized, which is amazing. Yeah, that would be cool. This, this definitely does not have wrath. Last move is recover and then either protect or toxic or curse or something. I don't know. One of these three, yeah. Um, but yeah, he's still asleep, I think. If he wakes up here, it will be bad. Um I think I have to go to this so that way he can't toxic me at least. But yeah I'm still getting PB stalled which is uh bad. <laughs> it's just bad. <laughs> it's not fun. Uh but yeah, let me change like the music real quick. Shell Hayes, he's forced to rest soon. Since I'm, man, I should be able to switch when he's asleep. <laughs> I don't know, I know why I think it should work like that. Well, eventually I'm gonna kill myself with struggle, right? That's how it works. I think that's how it works. Damn, this is so fun. Good God. <laughs> JK. It's obviously not that like, nice and. Sarcasm of it. Um, that might not be the correct term. So let me, let me get rid of my charger real quick. Wait, toxic can miss. Oh yeah, yeah, because I'm not a poison type anymore. I'm a thing. Oh, maybe I should just not attack him because that way he's forced to waste PP. How many does Soak have? Unfortunately, he has a lot of PP. If years later. Mm -mm -mm -mm. If I still had my block slash, this would have been cool. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter, let's look at PP Stalk, kinda. But yeah, let's not put him to bed, let's at least make him use his PP as well. That's what I should have done earlier. Well, eventually I might have to use Toxics when I'm out of Hazes and Scalds. I don't know, am I gonna run out of Recover before he runs out of PP? He has um, 32, from 32 and 90. He has 51 PP if I'm not mistaken. I have more PP, I have. Yeah, I have more PP. So if I don't toxic him, he's uh, gonna struggle before me. The only question is if I have enough recovers to not die the burn before. Huh, I think I do have enough, but I'm not sure. Uh, it might be close. I will be down to like no. I will like have to use all my recovers. I'm not sure. Fuck. Hmm. But yeah, if he could toxic me, this would obviously be really bad so at least he burnt me earlier if he had me toxic my packs would be dead and i couldn't pp star this thing but that's the problem is um oh fuck he stole two hazes there the problem is um i can't even um like i don't even get any points for this because this guy is low as fuck on the ladder <laughs> wait i'm no white shot Now he can toxic me, but he didn't. 
Phew. Man, man said, oh, let, let me not toxic him. I can't toxic him, but I don't wanna. Okay, eventually he goes up to install two hazes, which is pretty smart of him. Yep, this is bad, man. Yeah, let me not protect because I forgot. Wait, I could go into my Bulu um, on the Pukumuku. That's a potential play that I didn't make yet. Let me make that play next time, maybe. Wait, I said I was gonna pause, but I don't know. I kind of feel like just recording. Um, I mean, he already knows I have Toxic. He's probably gonna go Chansey or something. He that's like fine. Burn. No justice in these streets. Let me change the music real quick. And I don't know. I might just. Um, yeah, let me go blue this time. I might just. Do. Just crit the Tangrowth. <laughs> just crit it. 53, there's a roll. Let me get this roll, dude. I'm just too tired to play this shit. Pretty sure I'm faster. Yup, goodbye. <laughs> Tabu Bulu the goat. Tabu Bulu plus fat boys, reminder. That's why it's named. Ah, oh, let's get it. Okay, few. So yeah, as you guys can see, we get like no points for that, but thankfully we were able to finish that game before. I thought we would like have to play it still 2000. I should have asked, like I would have asked for Ty eventually. <laughs> but yeah, let me uh, change the song. Look at this guy, man, is still playing. I'm just spectating here, because I can't find a game. Uh, no one is on, I guess, on high ladder. That's why I just played someone from 1600. Is this little Manaphy, or is it just someone like trying to be little Manaphy? <laughs> Pretending to be... Not quite sure, but let me see if it's uh, is there. Like, no one is on. Like, 79 is like the highest game I could find, which is this whale guy that I don't want to play at all costs. <laughs> so, yeah, I might have to stop because um, it takes forever to find a game, and the people that I get are like low, so like, I don't even get points if I win, and if I lose, I lose a lot of points. So let me see where we are right now. 35. <laughs> I'm like, um. I'm like only 20 points higher to where I started the episode 2 hours and 50 minutes ago, good god Well it's been even longer than that because in between I took a break to eat Oh no, we got a Hooper, yeah this is unwinnable um, I assume this guy's a oh, girl or whatever, it's probably a guy just with a girl avatar because people like to troll on the internet I assume this guy's low on ladder, 1860, okay never mind. that's cool, he has some points uh, I'm gonna try to figure out his super set. Like, if it's like special specs, it's, it's potentially doable for me. If it's banned, I just lose, kinda. Um, also, Weevil can potentially trap my Mew, which is really annoying. But yeah, we can at least try to win this, right? No information about the Hooper. Um, Fire Blast, so we know it's that Y, okay. But it doesn't help me that I know it's hard why. Uh, so Hooper lead, hardened to Pex here, scouting for a gunk shot. This plays either Kartana or Gunk Shot or Guard Shump, okay. So Toxic he's gonna rocks. It goes Hooper, wow, 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 nice joke my guy. So now I just recover I think. Shiago he turn. Um, nasty plots, okay, okay. So we can protect. So he's um, special. Um, Z moves, okay. Pummeling, this is gonna destroy me. Critical hit, dude, fuck off. Well, to be fair, um, but he's gonna click Dark Pulse here. I mean, I don't think I can keep my heat. <laughs> But yeah, I was able to put him on a timer at least. So if he doesn't flinch me, or he doesn't even try to flinch me, 
we can recover eat this up and now the only problem is um, the Kartana can be a threat depending on the Z move. No, you already used the Z move all up on me. Yeah, yeah, my bad. The Weaver can be a problem if it's banded, right? Um, she shouldn't go hard Weaver because I could Wisp him here. He's probably gonna go Zard. No, he's Dragon Tail. Okay, so he's Tank Jump. Do they have Toxic on the Jumper is my question. I mean, this is somewhat doable now, but it's like, it's still hard. Hard we will. Um, I think I always wisp here. Like he can knock off. I'm aware. I'm aware that he can just knock off. Uh, but if I hit this, great. Um, does pursuit kill me? Life of we will for some reason. I don't know why he's not banned. Uh, I guess I should have gone the pegs there, but he could have pursued me. So Nothing bad if he pursued me and I switch. So I think staining was the correct play overall. It's not a weaver, it's burned. Ah, um, let me see. He's burned. Status, 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 worse, status, healthy, burned. Uh, life or pursuit this, uh, is a role to kill me. Oh, he switches. Lit. Okay, great. So now we can wisp. 24. Lit. Lit. Um. Pretty important game. If I lost that, I would have like lost my hope. But that was not the first time today that I've lost my hope. I've, a few times I dropped so so low that I thought um, I should just stop. So yeah, we keep fighting out here. Oh no, this Woodman guy. No, let's not get him. Actually, his well is beatable. I think actually the Megina was like the main problem. But he's already in the game. Cool. Um, so where does this put us on the ladder? 1940-ish. Yeah, number 23. But that's still... I need to win like three or two in a row depending on the opponent. If I got two good opponents, I just, like with good points, I just need to win two. Um, hmm. What's my win loss now? I remember being 37 and 1 or 37 and 2 in this order was super fire. 74 and 23, that's still pretty juicy. Also, I've not used only this team on this account, I've also used a team that my friends uh, BTB Colin made, I think, which is like Mega Garchomp, Sky Strike Land, alright, it's like a cool team, but uh, it's like balanced with Pex, Celesteela, Hippana, and I think Scarf Cortana. Mm. Might, might just pause it and be right back. Let me change the music as well. Okay, we got ourselves a match here, and this guy is only 1737, so that's kind of ass. So, this is uh, basically I scouted this guy. This is kind of a crush land, though, if he didn't change it. Um, so, yeah, we Horn Leech here. Uh, let me calculate real quick. Woodhammer Okos, so I'll go for that. Double Bulu, custom set versus uh, Landris. OU, Rocky MZ. So, what am I, of course? That's hot, let's go for it. How much does Rocky M do? Pretty sure Rocky M doesn't kill me. So, just killing this turn one. Um, oh, he has the Oh! It's lit! It's lit! <laughs> let's get it! <laughs> because if I win this, um, I, mean, I won't get many points. I will get like 8 or 9 points, maybe. So, that means I still have to win like 2 more after that. Well, yeah, getting rid of Rocky and Leonard turn 1 means my Zapdos can defog freely. Like, you can call me scum for looking that up, but <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Um, okay, so low punny. So this is Power Punch, if I recall correctly, from what I've seen. So I have a few options. Mew and Wisp, Pex and Toxic. What is a better option? Mew and Wisp is actually better, but problem is if I... If he goes yeah, I think Mew and Wisp is better. The Encore, so... He's gonna... Um, go to Tapu Fini here, right? So we can double to Tapu Bulu here. I just let it, I just let, it let the people know that I can also make some plays with this team. And yeah, we can superpower here and pick off the Kartana or the Ferrothorn on the Switch. Just gotta let the people know that we're in charge. Okay, I was hoping that he would go to Kartana. And if Ferrothorn dies, fire. But Ferrothorn wasn't a threat. Um, so the Lele is, I think, Calm Mind, so it's still a threat. But it's not Z, so we should be Gucci. 
So he turned on Talk 6 to play. It's just fire, like Bulu got two kills, <laughs> aka, I, I can just say it again. I have to hit this Toxic, if I miss this I'm gonna be mad. Okay, good. But yeah, what was I gonna say? Bulu plus the fat boys, um, that's what the video is gonna be called, like I said that like four times already. But I gotta <laughs> remind uh, me and the viewers again, <laughs> because people are putting in that work. Don't really care if he predicts my protect and CMs again. Um, it's not a big deal. I can just sack my Heatran. Um, so that's fine. Like Heatran is only needed for top of Lily. I don't think it's needed. yeah. It's not needed for anything else. I mean, you can power up punch all he wants. As long as I hit my whisper with me, I'm fine. The thing is, if I miss this, I'm fucked. So like maybe going Pax and Toxicing was the safer play. Because Toxic from Pax is 100% accurate because I'm a poison type. <sighs> Please hit. Good. Fire. So now we just go Pax in case he wants to Encore me into will o -Wiz. Um. Yeah. So now... I'm gonna top of Bulu here because he might switch. He stayed in, unfortunate. I was trying to get it in on the Finny there, the flex. But it's actually not a big deal because I just go Pax and haze him. And this is not a threat, unless he has facade. If he pulls out the facade, I'm done. But I'm pretty sure he has high jump. Okay, so there we just haze this. And then we can go back into Bulu. But yeah, I'm actually pretty hyped. I had got my hope back that we can make top 10 today. <laughs> I really don't care how long the video is. I just, if I just keep winning, I do win two more after this. Some, one or two, probably two though. Ah, if this guy only had some more points. Oh, he goes little there as I change the terrain to Horn Leech. Well, hard, if he goes hard Cartana, or Cartana, however you say it. He's not even Z-move Cartana, so it's not a big issue. Like, Zapdos checks it fine. So yeah, I think Horn Leech was definitely the play then. Well, I could have also gone Heat Train and not let this take any chip, but it doesn't matter. So Blue got three kills this game. This is how the team is supposed to function. That, you, that Blue kills someone after a few turns and not that the game is like super long. But yeah, you could see uh, Bulu pulled through with that one stall team. Uh, obviously, it was a roll versus Tango, so he could have stayed in. And if I didn't get the roll, then he would have killed me with Sludge Bomb. But I'm pretty sure, um, like, I didn't want to have the game go forever, right? So I just went for it. So 1950, great, great, great. Um, so we'll search again. I'll show you guys the ladder real quick. Um, so if you get a high opponent, then we, we only need to win one more game. The number 18 on the ladder. Um, so we need 14 points of 15. Um, just don't give me this veil guy. Uh, but I'm not gonna wait till his game finishes. Like, what? What the fuck? This guy's this guy is shit talking. That's the guy I just beat. Damn. That's why you don't shit. Wait, he lost and said GG. What? That was weird. Yeah, this booty man guy. Um, I really don't want to get Veil. <laughs> He's in the game already, nice. Two Veil guys. Never mind, only one guy. What is this? Oh, nice freeze. <laughs> oh, yeah, we get Rihanna Salvatore. Okay, so. Um, I think this might not give me enough points. Yeah, this will not give me enough points, so I have to win two. So the most important part is that I win this. Uh, I don't know this team though. This guy has too many teams to find them in the replay. <laughs> yeah, so there's no point really sc scouting this guy. Just use different teams. Uh, is there like? I mean, it's fine. I'll just play it out. Um, okay, so. Bulu lead, always fine. Um, we go Pex here, and afterwards we go into Gastron, uh, scouting for like Electrium. Well, what does he even go to here? Like, I just want to scout for Electrium. Damn, I really thought he would go for Electrium because he stayed, and I was like, damn, I'm the goat. So back to Pex to scout for Iceium. Since he's not live, up, he could be his move. Uh, he goes a part on. I can toxic him. Well, I have to skull to saw. <laughs> like, grassy turn is up, so earthquake is not gonna hurt me. So, if I can burn, cure me, that would be lovely. Okay, he stays, and if I can burn this, that would be lovely. 
Okay, so we can Toxic here. Uh, if he goes Drill, he gets me good, but... He really shouldn't go Drill. He should go like... I don't know. I don't know what he should go to. Epso, okay. Um, just recover here. Well, he could SD. Um, but... Yeah. I don't know. If he knocks, recovers the play. Yeah, so I just... Skull this. Like, he can't do anything to me. And losing Black Touch is not the biggest deal because Broken Pegs has that regenerator, so we just toxic here. Uh, I've put this a lot because I'm fit F to this version. Um, huh. I think he's Z and he's gonna try to go for the Z on the turn that I go to Gastron, aka IC. Like, uh, IC and Z. So, I don't know. Hmm. This is bad. Like, he could go for IC him here. Um, I go to Mew here, I guess. That's like, oh no, I need Mew for the. Excadrill. Yeah, I can go Gastron, but like if he Z's me here, I'm kind of fucked. Okay. I'm just Skull here. If he's Tech Rage, oh, I die. <laughs> yes, he's... Oh, we get the burn, it's lit! Like, I actually take this Hex as fuck. So we go Mew. We hopefully don't get flinched. Um, Fourth, it's a few. 1960. No, we need one more win. But this is the highest I've ever been on the ladder. 1960. Um, yeah, the burn there sucked, obviously. But after, like, I could have sacked my guest or something else, and then Mew could have still burned him. I'm pretty sure, cause it, like, uh, it's a roll to die from Corkscrew Crush from four plus two. But after rocks, I guess I would have died. <sighs> I just have to win one more game. <laughs> Okay, we got someone. Okay, so this looks doable. I don't want to get too hyped though. Okay, okay, it's doable. We're number 12 on the ladder again. So if we win this, oh, we should be there. Okay, so what's this guy? 1951. Why is he so high with this anti? What the fuck? So you already know I have to scout because we are in the range where I don't want to lose. Oh, he uses like healer teams, I guess. But yeah, um, it's probably like gonna be like Sludge Bomb Zorak or something. Rock Support on Trick Road, I'm so Scarf Road on. Sludge Bomb Flame Throw Zorak, okay, we know that from the packs here. Just leave with this at first. So now this Rotom could go for Wiz, if it's a Zorak it could be for, could go for Sludge Bomb, right? I think he can cover both the Sludge Bomb and the Wiz. So you the packs. No, um, like I really want to go for Toxic Breed in the Hippo. But yeah, you guys are wrong. Should have Toxic him. Get a juicy, juicy burn there. Um, even though Toxic this would have been better, but I can protect the scout what he locks himself into. Okay, let's not focus too much on the. What mon do I not need this game? I don't think I need my packs if I'm being honest. And if he gets a Black Sludge, that would be cool. Um, go zap this here. Obviously, if this is not Ferrothorn, if this is Zordark, this is a bit annoying. Um, okay, let's go Bulu here. What's his hippo side? Is it toxic? He's gonna get his rocks up. I go Bulu, and I want a superpower to kill the Pharaoh on the switch. Um, if he goes Pex, Woodhammer would kill that, but I think he's going Pharaoh. If he goes Pex, okay, he gets me. Fortunate. Um, that just sucks, I guess. Hmm. Fuck, if I would have hammered there, I would have just killed it. I actually could have done that. Unless it's fifth death, it gets awkward. If then the packs gets awkward, but I would have. Damn, this was winnable, but like, it's not easy. Ugh. At least he's high ladder, so if I lose, I don't lose that many points. Um, but I still want to be careful. I, st I just want to win this and end the episode, aka the 3 hour 9 minute special. Yeah, I don't know anything about this Greninja. Just go Pex here, because if he tricks, he gets a black sludge. <laughs> yep. Just skull here, because he can go to Pex of Vero, so I can't toxic those. Um, burn lit, 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 lit. So we know it's not Zordax, and if we burn him, we can um, attempt to get a defog off. Well, he could double. 
hippo you just see it. so I can go back to hippo um I don't need my mew for anything specifically so I go mew on hippo and if he has toxic he has toxic I don't care I just default and it goes out this and I default again I think that way I should be able to keep rocks off um, I could also go Bulo and if I predict correct I just get a kill but I think it's more important to keep rocks off um, yeah so he's fearing will wisp so he should switch into pack slash fire here I don't think I can lose this game I just have to be really really fucking careful I don't want to get over hyped and then choke it away you guys feel me you feel me on that one so I'll go packs here he's black slash so it's not the Zora okay um fuck it's this trapper set no! Fuck! This is what I'm trying to say. I'm getting too excited. And it, you already, it shows infestation here. It shows it right here. So my play would have been going Bulu. Like, this is what I'm... Okay, he just bonkers. Like, this is what I'm trying to say. I, I cannot throw this game away. Like, if I play... If I focus, I win this. But shit like that cannot happen again. But yeah, he's bonkers, so I have to be aware of that. I have to be aware that he has bunker, which means... Um, Bulu cannot hard put hammer into it. I can just put hammer on the switch, but I don't want to hard into it. Okay. Okay. Noticed. But this doesn't take, this doesn't last forever. It will end eventually, right? So I... Uh, can at least switch out. Then just go to Zapdos because it's Dolls 2pp. I'm pretty sure he's not Zorak because he just got up the sand, right? Um... But yeah, I guess we should cover this, no matter if it's Grin or Zora. Damn, I gotta be careful. Fuck, dude, I gotta stop choking games away. And protect you, because I don't know, he might have some random shit like Grass not HP Grass not Grass not something like that. You never know with these people. He might just spy here and I might look like a dumb noob, but like... Good, um, I'm just so scared of some random move, I don't know. I've been so close, like... <laughs> okay, okay, let's calm down. Calm down. I can win this. But yeah, this guy, props to him. He has some cool sets and he's high on the ladder with some heat team. What was his GXC82? It's pretty cool for him using heat. Um, so that's that. Let's go Pex once. Back to Zapdos. He can't really do anything, the only thing that can do something with me is if he has the aura in and I don't pay attention and he kills my bullet with sludge beam, something like that. Or oh, infestation packs is a bit annoying, but other than that he can't really do much. Uh, I got a nice green just interest me down I guess. Um, I think I can go heat train on this. And just spam off power. It'd be cool to have Magma Storm. Like, if his hit is not Spadef, he's so weak to Heatran. So, if I was a normal Heatran, it would be better. But you guys have to understand, this allows me to check Magazin better as if I'm just max HP because I can take Focus Blast. This also allows me to. Um, if I Toxic there, by the way, that would have been a hard play. This also allows. The Heatran spread also allows me to take HP run from plus one Volt. I mean, I don't need max Spadef for that. Um, I can run some speed, but like I said. Uh, I've been liking this a lot because um, yeah, it's like a backup check for for things. Cool, killed Texas Rotom. Lit. It's like a ah, we're gonna make top ten. It's lit, dude. This is gonna take ten hours to upload. Um, my internet is okay. Let's not be. Let's not say we make top ten too early. My internet is um, what's it called? Not that fast. I'm gonna get fast in a few days and I can upload faster. It's gonna be f really fucking lit. So I'm gonna toxic on the switch here on the hip hop and I don't have to, but if I get that correct. Oh, unfortunate. <laughs> now he knows I have toxic. Now he's gonna be aware. It's fine. I don't think I can lose this though. I mean, he's chipping me, which is quite annoying. But yeah, what was I trying to say? Yeah, I can. Uh, it's gonna take like 12 hours to upload if my, with, with this net that I have at the moment. Like I said, I'm gonna eventually get faster than that. So we can protect here. Casey okay, infestations again. Just go to packs here, I guess. Um, 
I just spam Skull, I think it's fine. It gives Black Sludge. Uh, if you had Binding Band, I would take more recoil and it would be really annoying. But yeah, we burn him, which is cool. And if I don't throw super hard, I finally make top 10 after 3 hours and like 20 minutes probably or however long this game is gonna take. Um, but you guys can see, we pretty much had it after 30 ish minutes and then I had hard matchup plus misplay. I can misplay, but I also don't think I could have won that. I know there were a lot of misplays in this. But overall, I think I played fine. Like, you have to consider I played this from <laughs> from 3 to 6 a.m. or something. I'm insane. I know I'm insane. Like, I don't. But I got no work today, so I'm fine like that. You guys can tell I haven't been uploading that much, but you can expect um, OST. I recorded every series from round 8. You can expect that. The next day is right. Um, like, maybe one series a day, sometimes only. Sometimes only like one series every second day. So you can expect still short on lives, just not as often. Maybe maybe one short on life a week, maybe one every two weeks. Uh, with my many clips, a uh, pretty good player. The, I've used some of his teams for this run. I've also used his sand drill team in the episode before this. It's like a short episode. It was like a short episode that I had played. Um, actually, let's just spam scout. I don't think it matters. Maybe recover was the better play. But yeah, I have like a really short part where I only have one game and then I was super tired and I super tilted and I didn't record anything of that super tilt. That part is gonna go up before this. Um, I had that up for like a few weeks already. That was on the bulky offense style alt. And yeah, I didn't touch that alt anymore after I dropped down to 1800s. So I just decayed and I started a new account because I wanted to have better GXE. And yeah, this account is gonna have fire GXE as you can see here, 87. Point eight. I'm pretty sure we not gonna make. We might make the 88 after winning this, which would be lovely. Uh, but even if we only make 87.9, I think we can make 88 for sure. Yeah, that's hot. I think that's my best GKC in ladder ranking I ever had. The ladder's not great at the moment, so I shouldn't get too hyped. But it's still cool to make top 10. Um, yeah, I know I could have also made it with different teams, but this is my own team that I'm comfortable with. So I figured this would work the best, like, overall. I just love up him in case he switches. I know he's gonna, like, protect, bu I mean, bunker and all that stuff. Recover. Um, but yeah, Infestation has a lot of PP. So this is actually gonna be annoying to stall out. It's gonna take forever. Oh, we got a crit. That's pretty juicy. Oh, yeah, he makes the correct play. So we plume here on the bunker. Very toxic on the bunker to not waste the plume, I guess. Oh, he didn't bunker, should have off part again. Eh, it's fine. I right, just put him on the potential bunker. It's whatever, like, it doesn't matter too much. Um, fuck, he doesn't. He just recovers, I guess. The infestations again. Okay, I don't really get what he's doing now. Why well, he's not bunkering or recovering much. Oh, weird. But I didn't think it had that many PP. Should I protect to get extra lefties? Um. My Bulu would just come in and get a kill on this uh, if he didn't have Bunker. So I want to be careful around this. Yeah, I could see him going for Spikes. Is he Zora? No, he's going in jail. Okay. So don't flinch me, my guy. Um, what's his other coverage? Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Don't flinch me, my guy. <laughs> you know, don't want to flinch me. No, no. <laughs> Fuck. When you think you have the top 10 in the bag and he flinches you. Don't spike on my protect. No! I wanted to go Heatran. I wanted to go Bulu and then pivot into like Heatran. Fuck. Fuck, but yeah, this way I can at least get my gas drone back. So this turned from an easy as win of my life into him flinching me twice and then predicting me. Like he made, yes, he made a good play, yes. But it still sucks. Oh fuck. <sighs> sucks so much. Because I actually thought I had it in the bank. No. Earlier I should have just recovered so my guess is at full but I didn't. 
Yes, sure, only that doesn't kill me. So if I can talk through this, I'm good to go. Please just let me talk through this. Um, this shouldn't do much. I just... Don't go Pex here, please. Just let me talk through this. Unfortunately, he's smarter than that. Darn it! If I hard toxic him instead of protecting, I would have been in a good position. I'm pretty sure Shuriken would have been able to kill me. Um, this is gonna be really rough now. Um, I can lose this now. So I can see why this guy is so high. Like, because of his pecs are being really cool, I guess. Huh. This is just AIDS, like... <laughs> From a free win into... Like, and me thinking I had it. Double flinch, but yeah, I should have just recovered earlier when my gastro was healthy. But I was fearing some random coverage moves like HP grass and the double out in the green. I'm pretty sure early game. Um, there's no point thinking about it now. I just have to stall this out of toxics and then I can go gastro on it. I don't know, like, I don't know. Actually, I don't think I can get gastro because I'm low, dude. I don't know if I can win this. I'm guaranteed went into shaky shaky. Um, let me change the music real quick and pause it. God, I thought I had this one so easily. This is why you never like underestimate your opponent if you have weird teams, but I made that mistake. After Rodon got done, I got excited as fuck. Is he toxic at Paula? No, he just rocks, which doesn't do anything. Um, but yeah, the main threat is like his Greninja. Oh, if I go Gastro on rocks, that's also cool. Huh. I'll just go Pex. Um, I mean, the good, the good thing about this is that he doesn't have spikes. At least he didn't go for them yet. Um, well, he might have E-Sense. Uh, so I'm gonna go Heat on the Scout for that. Like, no one goes for sure in here, right? Exactly. So we get that in. Just lava plume here. I know he's gonna go Pex most likely, but just in case he makes a weird play. If this is sore, okay, it's pretty fine because I'm speed death trend, so I check that. Okay, cool. I th I, th I have my whole back. I just have to focus, not throw the game. He doing healthy is nice. Um, if he just waits more, all this toxic, then I can just eventually go gastro on it. Um, I mean, you're never getting up rocks with hit power on. And I think he doesn't have toxic because he would have gone for it, so I think his move pool is like stealth rock off, quick slag off, and then either whirlwind or ice fang. I don't know. If he had ice fang, he also could have gone for it by now. I'm not quite sure. But yeah, I'm going pecs over trend now because I definitely think trend is more important to deal with the uh, Greninja, which sounds really funny and weird. But my trend is better if my pecs isn't, right? Also, he does. He does use another. Um, He does use another Toxic there, so he has 8 left now. Yeah, I hope you guys had some fun watching this, and I really hope I can pull this out. Um, also, if someone ahead of me decays, um, if someone ahead of me decays, because I don't think these guys have played today, I haven't seen them play, so if they, one of these two decays uh, before this game is over, then I can even be top 10, even if I somehow don't win this. <laughs> Which would be funny. Fortunately, bunk uh, infestation has so many BP. My pex is gonna be low. Um, I go to my heatron afterwards because I just don't want to let anything get toxic. Yeah, if he didn't double flinch me, then I didn't. I would not have to like sack Bulu, and I still would have had that to wall break, and the game would have been shorter. Which would have like this is very much what the team would be about. Bandit Bulu putting in work. But you guys could see in, a, in some of the games that it definitely puts in work. It's pretty fuego. So I guess he thinks he can get up hazards, but he doesn't know that I have double defog. <laughs> um, I don't know why I'm laughing so disgusting. But yeah. but yeah, I think I can just try to burn this. I could also go to Mew, uh, but it doesn't really matter. Just keeping rocks off here. And if, he didn't have, if I didn't have double fog, then he would eventually get rocks or spikes. I'm aware of that because I'm wasting them. Like, I don't care how I use them. I'm just wasting them. <laughs> I'm not using them wisely. Like I said, since I have double defog and pressure on Zapdos, I can afford to play like this. Okay. 
Um, I might have to use my recovers with packs this time. So otherwise, I'm gonna be low as fuck on the infestation here. Yep. Just playing this safe, I guess. 19 more infestations. <laughs> I hope my net doesn't die or I or I choke or I somehow lose this. Um I mean Greninja is a threat, so is the Zorak. Zorak is actually a threat. If my heat drink gets low then I can put on Rogue versus me. I just have to get my Gastron healthy somehow. Like I have if I double my Gastron in then I can protect and get two rounds of leftovers. That's what I have to do pretty much. Uh, double Gastron in versus Toxapex and then get two rounds of left with protect. So uh, that's my that's what I'm gonna try to do soon. Um just have to do it on the correct turn. <laughs> my poor recovers are gone. I mean he doesn't have haze on his, which is weird. Interesting team to say the least. Okay, so back to Zapdos. <laughs> Sorry for the repetitive turns. That's just how the team works some games. If you don't have your wall breaker alive, then the game's obviously gonna take forever. Also, there's games like um, there's games where Budo doesn't break anything. If they have like Venusaur, Steel, Scarm, that obviously happens. Um, I have a really funny replay versus Wishkiller. I put that in the description. I think I six out Wishkiller. Uh, it was super funny. So it was like um, turn one, I superpower his C turn with my Budo and it dies in one, and I'm faster because like Wishkiller doesn't want speed on his C turn. And I also predicted him to go for rocks, because that guy always tries to go for rocks turn 1. And then later on, um, after I defogged, after he got up like spikes with Skarm, he had Bishop in versus my plus 2 Zapdos, because he brought it in on defog. So then I heat waved him, right? And it did like 60 ish, right? Then um, Sucker Punch would kill me, um, but he could knock off predicting my roost. So I. Um, T bolted because he was in T bolt range, right? I didn't want to risk missing heat wave. I already hit one and he was in range. T bolt might also two kill Bishop from full, but I just heat wave because I think Wish Killer wants max HP Bishop with lefties. So to make sure that I kill it with heat wave, T bolt, I heat wave first, right? And then, yeah, it was a 50 50 between uh, him knocking. Him knocking on my roost, right? Uh, him sucker punching on my T-Bolt. And yeah, I T-Bolted predicting him to break me the roost and I got it correct. That was just fun. Pretty juicy. Uh, I really want to go Gastro here. Dude, I'm gonna do it, whatever. <laughs> don't whip, don't whip me. Dude, I'm the GOAT. I'm the GOAT. Oof, three lefties. <laughs> okay, I have to calm down. What if this is... No, no, it has to be hip on because it set up the sand. Pretty sure if it's Zordak, it wouldn't set up the sand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, let me calm down. I mean, this game would have been just super easy if I recovered when my gas room was at 80, so I, so it, I would not have... So you couldn't, like, double finish me down that easily, right? Um, I go heat train again. Just spam off power, we can maybe get some crits, the death drop, something like that. That would force him out. And if you get a spit death drop, then I can toxic, anticipating his apodon. Ah, shot hard toxic. Whatever, it's fine. I didn't take any damage and I wasted another infestation PP, so that counts. <laughs> also, big shouts to my man Seal. Um, he wanted to record this with me. One part he recorded it was late at night, but his team didn't work and then he went to sleep. And then I kept recording with like a different team. But yeah, like he motivated me to record again because he said, where the parts at, where the parts at. So yeah, shouts to Seal. Um, what else am I gonna say? Yeah, I know he's gonna have some fun watching this long video. I know he's gonna watch it potentially in parts. I don't know. Like, I'm pretty sure not many people are gonna watch the entire thing. Um, I know I could upload this in parts, but I'd probably just upload everything in one. <laughs> I'm insane like that. I got Toxic breathing the rocks, but it's not worth it. Because, yeah, he ran pretty much, um... It's important to check Zorak and Greninja, which is funny as fuck that is my Greninja check at this point because my Gastro got flinched. I have to double the Gastro in again, but I gotta be careful because I already did it once. So that guy's really trying to get up rocks, but he can't. Um, but I can respect him for playing this out, at least he's not donating the points to me. I'm just happy that we were able to beat even the Hooper, um, even though the guy brought it in hard on the Toxic, so he definitely misplayed. 
I'm not sure what game, like what exactly he predicted because I don't remember the game. But yeah, Greninja is in. And yeah, as funny as it is, I'm going into hard heat turn on Greninja. <laughs> um, if I'm... Okay, that works, we get free left. I was gonna say, I could go grand heat turn on a Dark Pulse and then into Gastron on a Water Shuriken, but like, that's too risky. Um... Well, when, so he reveals his last move. We get regenerator back to full. It's like, like the only thing I'm worried about is Greninja and Zora. Like I think the Zora might be Specs and Zemo. Uh, pretty much all I'm worried about. Um. Okay, gets me there. Shouldn't be a big deal though. Yeah, options. Uh, Rocky and Land was a big threat to the team. I was able to beat it earlier because I thought that he had it. So I, um, since, since I knew his set, um, I knew he couldn't. I could kill it with Brutal One, knowing that he's not Sky Strike, right? But if you don't know the set, it's obviously harder, right, to deal with. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, you can make put HPIs on Zapdos um, if you change something that beats Katana. Like if you replace Bulu with something that beats Katana, but the problem is that's like the most main offensive presence. So you don't want to get rid of that, right? You feel me on that one? So I will just show him that I defog my Mew soon. I don't know if I did yet. Did I not show him? I did show him already. Okay, so just gonna heat wave once. Covers the protect. I've been wasting my defogs way too much. <laughs> yeah, I already showed him that I have double defog, so I don't know why he's trying to get up hazards. So, I'm just happy that I kept pushing myself, kind of like, <laughs> like, I, like I said, I know that it's not the greatest accomplishment to do it with like a bulkier team, but I think it's overall a really cool team, and I know like people like Ultra Balls, um, they say my teams are too slow, and yeah, they have a point, but if you, I wall like everything of the meta game besides specific threats. And obviously the team works, as you can see. Um, my gold and loss ratio on this account. But yeah, it's fine. Um, 50 more infestation. I would just be happy if this guy would play a bit faster. It would be kind of lovely. Um, yeah, I don't need my skulls. I'm just wasting them. He's gonna go feral eventually. I could also just toxic. Um, it's probably smarter instead of wasting my scores, but I don't think it matters if I have any scores in my packs. Like I said, I'm only worried about Zora, Greninja, um, like flinching my heat gen or something like that. Because they both have dark pods, right? <laughs> What's the Zora said? We know that it has. We don't know anything. Oh yeah, we know it has flame and sludge bomb. Because the, yeah, yeah, we don't know the Greninja said, but he revealed ice beam and he revealed ice beam and. Dark Pulse, right. Maybe I should have gone the Heatran earlier on the turn where I think, but like I can't, there's no way I can predict. I'm going for that that turn. Anyways, if uh, Infestation and Toxic run out, then I can go into Gastro on this and heal it, which is what I need. So I hope that he doesn't pay attention and lets me do that. So I don't care if you protect or anything. Zorak has never come out this game. What the fuck, dude? I want a Toxic on the Hippowdon here. Well, he can just go to Pex. But if I get a Toxic on the Hippowdon, that would be bueno. Oh, hit, 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 on the GOAT. So now I just go Mew and spam Defog. Ah, it's lit. <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, this might not be the play. I think he turns the play. Yeah, just lava plume, pop, damn. Like you can say, I had a good matchup. Uh, like I said, should have kept Gastro at full to not risk the like flinch action. That happened to me. And yeah, if you guys want, you can make the heater and Magma Storm. I just choose lava plume because it gives me, uh, it fishes for burn. Because if you don't have taunt, you don't beat packs anyway, even if you have Magma Storm. But Magma Storm can definitely be cool to get good chip damage with protect in certain scenarios, right?
I could go Gaster here on the rocks to flex on this guy, but there's no point. Um, I don't know if I'll live earthquake with Gaster. This only has a bit of fist dev investment. The Gastron um, has like fist dev investment. So that I don't um, get to it killed from Banta ever, but from Stonehenge, right? And it also has, um, what's it called? The fist of investment also helps to take a player from Mawa from full. But usually you're gonna have Mew plus Heatran to deal with Mawa. You could see in the game earlier when he has Misty, when they have Misty Terrain to support. When they have Misty Terrain uh, as a Toxic Deputy to protect. And now uh, I just love a plume. I could off operate in the packs, but I just love a plume because it hits the power on her harder. Um, yeah, I should have off power. My bad. <laughs> But yeah, what was I trying to say? Yeah, so you can live a player from more from full if you have to. You can live a uh, Scarf Secret Sword Kelio, but with that spread. Uh, but yeah, you have a Pex and a Bulu to deal with Kelio. Oh yeah, earlier I misplayed that one game. With Bulu versus Kelio. And I think I ended up losing that game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely misplayed some of these games. I'm aware. You guys don't have to let me know in the comments that I've played some games like doo doo ass. But yeah, let's watch this play. So we're doubling gas turn in on the toxic packs here. Because he's not staying in to take your ice team, right? And even if he stays in, he's gonna rock. Uh, if you have quick see, I look like a complete noob. But yeah, look at me go. Look at me go, and now we protect and we have Gastron somewhat healthy again. So it can take a hit from Greninja, uh, potentially. It still can't switch in though. But yeah, that's pretty lovely. Mm -mm -mm, pretty nice. <laughs> I'm going insane here. It's already um, getting. Uh, the sun is already rising. I, I don't know, my English is bad, I don't know how to say it. It's already getting day here. Um, it's 6 a.m. But yeah, um, I don't know, some of you guys might be interested, I guess. I have like some sort of... I definitely wasted too many defogs. I should have heatwaved on the protects more often. Oh, he only has 8 rocks left, so it's no big deal. I don't know how many spikes he has left. But yeah, I work sometimes as it's like an office job, right? And sometimes I can just do it from home. It's just super fire, so I can sleep as long as I want. Which is the main reason why I'm able... This is why I'm able to do um, record tournament games that are at night, my time even. Or like record at night. If I feel like it. Because, yeah, my work is super chill. Um, okay. I don't have default on Zaptus, which is annoying. The rock never came out, right? Like, I'm not tripping. Yeah, it never came out. Yeah, okay, Spikes only has, oh, has 17, okay. Um, Still gonna default. But I gotta be a bit careful. I'm gonna go Zaptus because it stalls him out of two Spikes instead of one. That way, um, I have enough defox. I don't know if I have enough at the moment to get rid of all the spikes and defox. Um, so that's pretty much my goal here to get rid of two spikes. I think I just want to click T-Bolt because if he goes packs, that works. And I don't want to let the Zorog in on my Mew. If he like doubles Zorog in on Mew here, it could be bad. So that's why T-Bolt here. And now he's forced another power on. Which gives me my Mew. If he predicts this, I'm kind of in a shitty position. I should have just heat wave that he pull it again, but yeah, get the play correct and we just default. Well, plus ice beam. I don't think it matters. As long as I go Zapdos every now and then on the spy. Ah, I don't know. Should be a bit more careful, so we go heat train here. Should just heat wave my Zapdos put it in the incoming hippo, but I just want to get rid of that spike. Uh, because the spike up could make a difference. You yeah, always me, always me on the power on. If my Zapdos doesn't have any fogs left, uh, I wasted them like too fast. Jr yeah, rocks are almost done. Um, I don't know why, dude. This game is longer than the stall game, right? <laughs> the stall game I was somehow able to win with um, Bandit Bulu. So this is the Zorak. This is the Zorak. Oh no, he's gonna dark rolls. But if he flinches me, does this get focus best? But I don't remember. Okay, that did nothing. It's life or I'm just gonna attack in case he has focus best. Dark pulse. Is okay, so let me just toxic this. Oh, let me just lava. 
little man. I don't know. I don't want to miss. And dog boots is absolutely nothing, as we can see. Okay, so the rock turns out to not be a big threat. Good. Good. So I should have this in the bag. <laughs> Just no reason to get overexcited. Building to um, Gaster, that would have been a good play, but like, I just don't have a reason to risk anything. Uh, worst case, I can like set my pack to my Mew later in the game, uh, after I stall him out. After I stall him out of... Like, if he doesn't have Rock PP anymore on her Powder, then I can set my Mew potentially on my packs. Like, packs can be set now already. Right, so that means... Um, What's it called? Because if Zorak, like, if I don't want to risk my Heatran getting like low from Zorak, is it Zorak or Zorak Dark? I can't think. I think it's Zor Zorak. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? I'm going insane. Recording for three hours and forty minutes. I never thought I would have recorded a video this long. Um. So pretty much, I can tell you guys, I've been laddering with two teams, this team and the Mega Gatchum team, the last few days, and I always thought about potentially recording, but I never like recorded. Because I wanted to get to 1940-ish, 1950-ish. But yeah, today, um, when I got to 1904, I was like, okay, let's just record this. Um, and if it doesn't work, then I'm try tomorrow or the next day. <laughs> and if that doesn't work, if I tilt down or something, then I'll just make a new alt or something. Because I like doing that. Like, when my when I tilt and my GXE get, turns to shit, I like making a new alt. But yeah, he's forced to slack off because he's low, which is cool. I could uh, predict that and go for... Lava plume, but it's not worth it. Um, so I can double the gastrodon here, yeah. just like risky as fuck. He's gonna go to Pex, but I'm not risking it. Like I knew he would make that play, <laughs> but if he licks my gastrodon earthquakes, I'm kind of in a shit ass spot. I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. I'm just going insane. Let me change the music real quick, cause this game is long. Why is this game the longest of them all? The last one. If I lose this, I'm done. I mean, this guy has a lot of points, so I would only have to win one or two after this to make top 10, but still. But yeah, Spikes has 15. Wait, what? Do up just to stall out two Spikes. I just spam t bolts to not let the Zorak in for free. I mean, the Zorak is not even a big threat. <laughs> As we saw earlier. A heat wave written the hip power down here. Gotta flex it on these guys. I mean, it's not even flexing, it hits the ferrothorn, it hits the hip power down, right? So it's just a safe play. So, um, I just want to spam heat wave. I don't want to let him double his Zorak in on my Mew. Well, I could just go Mew here, honestly. It doesn't matter, it's just one spike. So he doubles Greninja. Big Dima Mew, Heat Wave, no burn. Ah, fuck. So he has Ice Beam on this. So that's kind of rough now. We're going Paxi. Well, Sand is up in these life orbs, so like he can't really beat me with this. Did nothing. What? That did nothing. I mean, even if he's e sends, I don't need my Pax to win this game. So even if he wants to kill me, Sand plus life orb is gonna fuck him up. Oh yeah, that was a roll by the way there. I didn't pay attention. I forgot about Sandstone putting me down. But you know, if he kills me, he dies to life orb. And then he only has Zorog left as like a pseudo threat. So, Bob. Oh, I, I was gonna ask why would I have to struggle? It's because I'm Scarf. That's why. Um, is this a Zorog and I fucked up? Is it? It is not. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, I saw that he took burn damage. So we softballed pretty in the protect. It's kind of obvious he can switch if he wants to. Um, yeah, okay. But yeah, if he double spikes, that means I get to default because he wasted more spike PP. And if he protects here, I don't give a fuck. Oh, that was a good play on him. I could have beamed there. Uh, I definitely could have. But yeah, the Greninja is not a biggest deal. The Greninja not having spikes is amazing. Like, Pharaoh having spikes is better than Greninja having spikes. Greninja forces more switches. But yeah, even Fizz Death Pharaoh is somehow walling this. Slurp, slurp. I'll use my last Scald here. Yeah, just toxic. Doesn't matter, so I keep my last gold. Um, so this is definitely Pharaoh, it's not it's not the other one, because it got lefties back. Right, yeah. So you can protect to stall me, but I like as like you, as you can see I have 18, he has eleven. And Roxy only has a few left. So yeah, this is not a big deal. So I ice beam here. 
Just in case he tries to go Zora mm, Greninja. Wouldn't Wisp be better? Ah, this is fine. And yeah, he wastes two spikes, so now I can default again, because even if he protects... I just have enough. Bop. Yeah, this game is done. This game is done, though. Just took way too long, <laughs> I'm sorry. If you guys expect, like, um, some bulky offense and not like a super fatty. But yeah, I can... Um, I'm gonna make more fun lives with my friends, especially Eclipse, but yeah, not that often, like I said. Maybe once a week. Maybe once a week, maybe, um, what's it called? Every two weeks, one life. God, fuck off. Oh. <laughs> He's gonna spike here. Probably. Well, Ice Beam just means Greninja can't come in for free. I could see him going Greninja here. Honestly, I could see him doing that, but it's fine. I just fucked to not have spikes on my side. And yep. Go Heatran here, we're gonna get low from the infestation, we're not gonna lose to this. If he had Skull, this would actually be kind of threatening for my train. Uh, I'm just Lava Plume, I don't care if he texts here. I honestly don't care. Um, not a big deal. So now we double into Gastron because we had the Goat out here. He didn't even show power up yet, which is weird. Did he stay here? Okay. See, get gas on back healthy. Showing you some strats how to double in mons that are low, and then if you have protect them, then you can easily get health back. Um, this is like nothing crazy. Like I'm not saying I'm like the goat or anything, but it's just like a cool little play that works out most of the time. Uh. Oh yeah, I need to change the music. I forgot earlier. Okay, what is this GSC remix I have here? And just Ice Beam. Ah, focus better. Yeah, Ice Beam would have been harder. It's fine. I'm keep I keep fogging, like I don't care. He has like no hazards left anyway. It's like yeah he gets me there, but it doesn't matter. Doesn't his hippo have like no rocks or like four rocks or something? So I can also just go zap this later to wait making waste two of those. This is completely fine. Like, I definitely didn't play this optimally. However, you say that I can't talk, <laughs> but I still played it to the point where I should be able to win unless I get like flinched on Pex and Trin. Oh fuck! He gets me there. So well played by him. But yeah, I like that the orb is wearing him down at least. I mean, cool little. A little play by him doesn't really matter too much. He just gets some health back, but like, it's not gonna win him the game to be honest. Um, yeah, yeah, I just default. Okay, I know he's potentially gonna protect. It's fine. I just don't want him to have a hazard up. Sit. See, that's completely fine. I don't know why I said it's so weird the first time. Okay, now, go to packs. And even though Pex doesn't have any recover PP left, it still kind of has a recover. Uh, also, I might have been too far away from my mic. My bad if the audio is bad. I'll have to check that later. For like the early part, I might have been too close to my mic. And then for the other part, I might have been too far away. I'm not sure. I didn't really pay attention to that. Uh, I really hope it didn't mess up. But yeah, we shall see that. Anyways, you guys can pretty much see what's going on. I don't have to explain anything. A nice dodge. Slurp, slurp. You just go zap this here. Stall out two leech seed instead of one Bob. This is so nasty. Look at him. Only have two spikes. Have he only has one protect two spikes to leech seed. I'm nasty, dude. I don't care. It's fine. We got this. And it's not full stall. As you like I said, band pool and the boys. The band pool gonna get something as fuck. So I don't care if he goes pecs the ice beam. Oh, he has six rocks left. Okay, I gotta be a bit careful with my 70 fox. He stays in. Nice and bad play. 
And I know you can predict me to not ice beam here and stay into slack off, but that's not a big deal at all. Gee, he takes some sandstone chip. Nice chip, chip, chip. <laughs> um, yeah, I would just love for this guy to be play fast as fuck so we can end this game. Thank you. He's probably gonna go to Ferrothorn here, but doesn't matter. <laughs> We sex as Greninja. Oh, we take those. We take those. So now Zorg slash Pharaoh slash Pex. Goes to Pex. We go Tran. And just club up them once and then off power after. What's uh, nice and nice and top ten finally. Also, I know aim sometimes goes for number one in this world to top ten. I'm not gonna do that because it's like way too painful. Um, ah, look, look at it, look at it. Ah, number fourteen. I'm gonna be there. Wait, there's people. These people moved. Valentine. And but yeah, it's still not. It's, we still we definitely gonna get six points or seven, seven points. I mean, we're gonna get more than that. We're gonna get like twelve points. Yeah, this should definitely give me enough to make the top 10. For s if it for some reason doesn't give me enough points, I'm gonna go insane. Because I definitely don't want to play more games. Yeah, this guy, wasn't he like number 12? So like, someone, either Bubble Boy, Valentine or Frozen City Kid. I think these two guys, they just got up there. But yeah, it doesn't matter to me. Um, Nice and lit. But yeah, props to this guy, cool team. Uh, if my band Buddha was alive and I didn't get a double flinch, this game could have ended way faster. Uh, oh yeah, once I super powered instead of going for grass move, predicted his pharaoh instead of his packs. If I just grass moved, I just won the game right there early. I mean, like it would have made the game so much shorter and it would have given us more band Buddha action, which would have been cool to see. But yeah, it doesn't matter. He's almost okay, not almost, but he has eight infestation left. Almost out is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I guess soon out. So we protect here just to keep our boy heat and healthy. Got a bit elf power here. Oh, nice crit, but no drop. I'm forward, I'm forward. So now you can. Wait, he might have to switch out. Actually, no, he can recover because I only have level up. He knows that. But maybe I get a crit. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh yeah, he has Black Sludge, I was gonna say. Doesn't he take damage? If I had an Earth Power left, he would've been forced to switch here and I could plume. Like, I can know I'm pluming anyways. But I'm trying to say, if I had Earth Power left, I would break them to switch. Well, he would probably just have to sack his Hippo. We sack his Ferrothorn. Ooh, or Zorak? Oh, it's Zorak, nice. This chip? No burn, though. Yeah, he disconnects. And, um, I know this was as long, I could've made like five parts out of this. Okay, so the main thing why I didn't make more parts is because I just wanted to finish this with my own team that I made. I know it's fat and nasty, but I wanted to only use this team. I didn't want to like make four or five episodes where I use different teams that I'm not comfortable comfortable with. That's the correct term, yeah. So that's like a team I play like a lot with and I'm comfortable with. So yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna drop it in the description because it's a nasty fat team. Um, just ask me in the description if you want it. And yeah, I'm insane. Nice four hour part. Let me just type some words in there so you guys can see what's going on. I'm gonna put some dots. Test, test, test. Oh, he has 20 seconds left, so we're 20 seconds away from making top 10. 15 seconds. Ah, this is gonna be. <laughs> this is gonna take so long to upload. But I'm gonna check this out. It's gonna be like a five, seven, eight gigabyte video. So five seconds. And if if we don't get enough points for this, uh, I don't know what's going on. But yeah, we get our points and we hit. You guys can see here. 1980 on the ladder. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And so we are number 7 on the ladder. With 88 GXC. Ooh, lit. We got that GXC that I wanted to hit. So, thank you guys for watching again for like the fifth. Uh, did I say it already earlier? Anyways, um, yeah. This was a wild run. I have a headache. Um, my friend, one of my friends told me I should go to sleep because I have a headache. But I already slept early and I couldn't sleep again. So at 3 a.m. I was like, ah, let me go on the ladder and show these guys what's good with my nasty fat band Budo and the boys team. So um, it was it was a fun run. 
that's all I have to say. <laughs> I know I'm gonna get comments, what the fuck is this, why is this so long? Yeah. At least I finished it. Like, I just wanted to do this for myself and for the viewers, because... Um, before... I always, um... What's it called? I always, um... I started the road to top 10 a few times and then I focused on tournament games and didn't finish it. But yeah, smash the like button if you enjoyed. <laughs> Hit me up if you want the team and peace out, friends. So we have a tournament in my Discord and if you have watched until this point, uh, I know you're probably... Uh, I know you're like a good supporter if you have watched the entire video. So if you really, if you want to join the tournament that we have, it's going to be Circle Jerk. It's going to be Gen 3 to Gen 7. Teams of five, I think, right? So you can join there. Um, if you PM, uh, if you put a comment that you want to join my Discord, I'll. If you want to join the tournament, if you're gonna be active in there, I'll link you. Um, please only if you're active and if you're gonna join, because you have like a lot. We uh, usually get rid of inactive users every few weeks or months. We're trying to have active users in our Discord, but yeah, this file is way too long. Peace out, friends. I'm insane, dude. What the fuck? I'm gonna make myself some juicy ass food now, not having to worry about anything that I have to ladder tomorrow so that I don't decay and can hit top 10 eventually. Because the last days, I always get like one or two games every day so I don't decay. And I was always chilling at like 1900. Sometimes I dropped back to 1850. It was a pain, but yeah, peace out, friends.